I think I'm starting to get a better feel for the way this game plays and perhaps appreciate it a little bit more. Let's kick the volume up. Yes, it is, Rave Dubin. I will say, however, that I do not like how slow the uh, energy pistol is. Okay, that was my fault. All right. We gotta find a good... You know what? We're using the sniper. Spam trigger on the pistol? We don't got the pistol! Oh, you mean the laser pistol. Yeah. Whoa! Calm down. Gotta find a good angle here. Oh, wait, that's our allies. Friends! Hey, canoe. Where? Oh. Friends! Music! How do I get up there? I want to go up. Let me up. Let me up. That was a deep voice. One of the big lads over here. Was that an elite? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. What's the name of the big guys? The weak point on the back? Hunters? Gotcha. Don't you think they'd be a lot more dangerous if they didn't have that weak point? Woo! Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good question. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, health. Whoa. This part's kind of hard. Stop. Wow. Stop. Step. Oh, my God. Oh boy. Oh, we're dead. We're so fucking dead, dude. We're flanked. Oh god, we're so flanked. Well, that helps. You're right. It's... Oh, shit. Yes! It's time for us to John this Halo. Gonna need you to turn the other way, buddy. Is TTS on? No, uh, because if you want to contribute, you have to go to the Act Blue link, which I cannot pull TTS API from. Hey, come on, do a hit. Nice. Okay, I think it just takes one shot there. I don't even think I need the second one. Where's the battle rifle? Okay. Okay. Why, why'd you only open it when I left? What the fuck? Guys, we're nearly at 8,000! I cannot believe how generous this community is. You guys surprise me time and time again. How do non-American viewers pitch in? You can't pitch in to act blue, I'm afraid. You could always donate to me. Bye. I love you. 
I had is the battle rifle a lot better in this than it is in Halo 2? Because I remember it being a useless three-shot burst in Halo 2. And in this, it pretty reliably stuns and kills enemies. That's the assault rifle. The battle rifle doesn't exist. Okay, you know what I'm referring to. They're two different guns. They kind of look the same, though. Right? Don't they both have, like, the screen above the barrel like this? No? Oh, okay. I guess my, my memory's just kind of blended two guns together. Um... But we'll get to Halo 2 as well, pretty soon. Well, not not pretty soon. I assume I still have a while to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cortana to Fohammer. We need additional support troops. We're going to open the shuttle bay door again. Move in and drop off reserve troops on my signal. I copy, Cortana. Echo That was bad. 8,000? 8,000? Guys! It's over 8,000! That's a Dragon Ball reference. Did you guys get that? Ow. Okay. Ow. Oh my god! Dude! Is the remastered version just supposed to be for, like, idiots? Or, like, blind people? Look at how much more well lit this is! Dude, what the fuck? Holy shit! Sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to harp. It's not- I'm not complaining about the game, just that remaster, man. Holy shit. Damn, man. Oh, no. Really bad on the flood levels? What, I guess it lights everything up like a Christmas tree as well? Oh, this ain't the stream for that, Black and the Borg. This is about positivity. Cheat. Che I, I, look! There is no relationship between the light sources... ...and where the actual light is. Look! Right here. Unlit ceiling. Light going down from it. Over here, it's just everything is like, a uh, completely... Yeah, can you guys stop spamming F if the- if it just buffers for one second? That happens on YouTube. That's just a normal thing that happens to live streams. Oh, 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 I'm flanked. Oh shit, I'm back here. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. I copy Cortana. Echo 419 standing by for you. Nice. Okay, let's get the red elite down here. Nice! Wow, this combat has really evolved. That's true. John! 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 Halo! Ooh! Oh no! Okay, did I get the cutscene? Fuck! Okay, we gotta be more careful there. We're like all out in the open, then we get flanked. Don't do it. Okay. Gotcha! Maybe I should just use the sniper when all the guys come out. It is a really fucking good weapon. Goopy. 8,100. My goodness, you guys. We're nearly halfway to the goal. No, we're near halfway through the stream. 
Yeah, time to go John Halo on these guys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh god, oh man, oh jeez. I'm too old for this shit from John Halo. Yeah, I was one day from retirement. I was almost out of the Halo. But then they brought me back in. Nice combat roll, bro. I'm rooting for this one. I'm gonna Halo! Oh. I thought it'd be an elite. There's the elite. Oh. It lived! It got knocked out, but it lived! Bro! Yeah, asshole! You know what's really fucked up? It's, um... This really depends on the, uh, on the conflict and circumstance. But, um... In modern engagements, where people have, like, firearms and tanks and shit, um, it's not all that uncommon for a huge portion of casualties in any given encounter, um, to be, uh, friendly fire. Like, that's, that's not, like, a rare thing. Like, all the time, um, it, from, like, World War One and onward, basically, uh, if people would die to friendly fire in large amounts. Like, you would get, like, casualties, like, 10, 20, 30 percent being friendly fire, or more. Who's with me? In World War One, they didn't give a fuck. Oh God, yeah. Bastard. Imagine cases of friendly fire like in Stalingrad. Yeah, well, especially because they didn't have complicated comm sets back then too. So like, imagine in Stalingrad or whatever, where like you're fighting in the city streets, and then like a tank battalion, you see them rolling through a like ruined road half a kilometer down the line. There's not even a way to confirm whether they're allies or not. Like, like the tanks are different, but that's not enough always. Paint gets scraped off, there's dust everywhere. Ow! Asshole! Eighty-three hundred, guys! Kicking it up! Why, you guys are almost as heroic as John Halo himself. A lot of soldiers got run over by friendly tanks because the drivers couldn't see out of their periscopes. Yeah, that fucking sucks, dude. I feel really bad for people who accidentally friendly fire under circumstances that they can't really help. Whoa. Wait, I see enemies behind us. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> Well, that too, NPC Porky. It burns. Nice shot. Thank you. Was Halo One renowned for having um good AI, like good friendly AI and enemy AI? Because I feel like this is pretty good. For what? Two thousand one? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Famously good. That's nice. Um, I'm I'm happy to hear that. I like stuff like that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, even nowadays, most games just do not have good enemy AI. It's pretty rare to see good enemy AI. Um, I know Fear is famous for having good AI, um, which is pretty great. It's just not that common. It's pretty difficult to. 
The main issue with good enemy AI is that, like, in a realistic game, like Call of Duty or whatever, good enemy AI, something that's realistic, would just have them hiding behind cover forever. It wouldn't be that fun, right? In real life, most engagements between, um... Whoa. Most engagements between, um, enemies is like you're fucking 50 miles away, like, blinking at each other, you know? Like, 5,000 bullets fired for one hit, if that. It's pretty tough. Yeah, the Metro series has pretty good AI. Um, Fear was famous. Fear has a lot of callouts too. That's a good way of making AI feel better than it is. Have them talk a lot because it, it gives you the impression they're like thinking about what's going on rather than just like reacting to their environment. Um, yeah, not a lot of effort is put on multiplayer enemy AI these days because they, they focus on or like yeah on multiplayer oh god oh god chill holy shit chill 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 well, all my troops are dead in one nanosecond we gotta be careful here Wanna see how it looks remastered? Look at this dark hanger. Ah, oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, it's like a fucking Ikea showroom. Alright. Oh, it's so much easier in the remastered version. Oh my god. Oh, shit, yes, battle rifle. From my, uh, allies. Guys, nearly at $8,500. We're kicking it. We're dicking it. Would I play Fear in the future? Maybe. I know that game has a lot of jump scares, and I am a giant pussy, so, I don't know. I do want to try the Dead Space games. Just tabs, super jacked. Would I play Half-Life? I have played Half-Life. Hi. This looks like the ship's command center. 8500. Wait, did I already say that? Did I already say 8500? Sorry, I'm just excited about the donos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for contributing. I know that normally donos pop up because we're doing this through Act Blue. Um, it uh, it it uh, it we don't have access to the API that will allow us to see the donos. We could have it so that you donate through me, and then I donate to Act Blue. But if we do that, then that, um, well, <laughs> that introduces some tax and sort of fall off problems. You know, more money gets through this way. Yeah, it's it's an extra tax thing. Political orgs are not five hundred one c threes. We did that the first time when I donated to. Um, when I donated to the Palestine Children Relief Fund, the, um, or wait, Palestine, PCRF, right? Um, but that did end up being a tax nightmare. Guys, I, I, not, not to sound like an asshole, but I just want to let you guys know, um, when I donated to the PCRF, uh, back in 2020, the time and extra effort it took, the, the struggle that I went through to get that $300,000 written off of my uh, tax accounts, it w was unbelievable. Um, like, like written off as a deductible, because it's just not, it's not just the deductible you write off. It's like the number you put down. It's, it's like a whole other, uh, you have to like put the thing, you have to prove, because it's an amount of money that the IRS actually cares about, so. <laughs> You know, honestly, the 3D models of the enemies look really good, even in the non-remastered version, IMO. Okay. Like... I don't know, there's a lot of personality here. It, it looks good, right? I feel like modeling up, it actually doesn't look that much better. I mean, obviously there's more polygons and stuff, but like in terms of the design, I feel like they kind of nail it, yeah. 
Halo was a masterpiece? You know, I actually think that playing through this is giving me more of an appreciation for Halo. I still don't like all the trends that it ended up standardizing in first-person shooters, but for this game itself, I, um, I think I'm gaining more of an appreciation. Where am I? Let me just add some light. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel about the weapon visual designs? Alien weapons and human weapons? I have never cared that much for Bungie's art style in general, and I mean the entire company, from Halo to Destiny. I've never really cared for it that much. A part of it might be the kinds of universes they build, because when I like futuristic human tech, I tend to like more... <sighs> more Warhammery stuff. Like, rustic, like, beat-down industrial futurism. More so than, like, the sleek shit they tend to go for. Um... And the alien weapons always look like Fisher-Price toys to me, but, you know, it doesn't... Yeah, it's it's not shiny in the way that I like, personally. Just chill. Wow, they all ducked. Oh, it's too dark in here. T tactical flashbang. Mm hmm? Hey, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill! Oh, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna plink me to death. Oh, there's two of them. Got him. What about StarCraft's visual style? I really like StarCraft's visual style. And I, can I say one other thing? And this is more of an issue in the remaster, I guess. But, like, I really hate when they overdo it. So, even though this is still a bit much, this still totally reads as, like, an alien spacecraft kind of deal to me. But now it doesn't. There's no reason an internal wall would look like this. Like, come on. Like, like, it, it, this is like the design equivalent of filling up space. It's it's like magic eye puzzle shit, you know? Like, well, how do I make this this wall more, more happening, you know? And it's fine to just have a wall panel. Like, just texture it well. Um, you know? Just, just do a good job texturing it, and, and, and it'll look fine. Yeah, it's visually noisy. Like, all this, like, come, come on. I don't mind the ground looking this way. This is fine to me. But like, what 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 is this wall meant to be? Are you telling me this wall panel is made up of like eight or a dozen different plates that slot in? Why? What? Like this is fine, you no? Know? So I just got that. All of three four three's art is visually noisy. It's better in infinite. So, Bungie just does not do any shit with Halo anymore, right? It's all 343. Do you guys think 343 is a bad company, or just that they've had some, like, hurdles in, in, in getting, you know, getting everything up to, up to bat? They're terrible? Hmm. What about Halo there Infinite? Didn't people like Halo Infinite? Uh, coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay, yes, sir. The execs ruined it. That sucks. Good night, While NPC the Pokey. Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. Hey One moment, sir. Access John the Halo? Settlement. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. Uh, then it's true. 
The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. This is such an early 2000s game. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gain control of it, they'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. <laughs> That's good, Denial's board. Chief, Cortana. I have a new mission for you. He who controls he John Halo controls, controls the fate of the universe. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Chief, you have the point. I really we like head Dune. Head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. I gotta finish reading the Dune books, man. There's supposed to be some. What? 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 Oh. Oh, sorry, let me use my flashback. Hello, <laughs> Ford again. Great campaign, don't listen to others. Oh, I believe it. I just want to read Dune. You hear about a new Dune game? Isn't there like an RTS Dune game that came out recently? But it's not my type of RTS. I really like RTSs that have um, StarCraft style, uh, and not like the squad style. The way like, uh... wait, does my flashlight seriously have a meter up there? What? No. Without the captain, the covenant. About time you showed up. My, does my flashlight on my futuristic power armor seriously, okay, have a fucking rechargeable battery? Oh, shot him. Alright! Gotta switch weapons here. Have you read Masters of Doom? No, I have not, but I'm learning a lot about id Software's history. I mean, yeah, something has to power it. What? Are you kidding me? Are you defending this? I'm in power armor. How could a battery flashlight possibly drain in anything less than years? In hell. Whoa. Health pack? Health pack? Health pack? I want to help. Can I start? Sorry. Health pack? Health pack? I want a health pack. Somebody said health pack. Where's a health pack? I want a health pack. Please, please, please. Yes! My dude's gonna die. Probably. Need a hunger and thirst meter for realism, yeah. Where's the shit and piss meter? Honestly. In lore, Spartan power armor costs two to three billion each. Have you guys ever he heard of a comic called The Authority? It's kind of similar to The Boys in that it's a cynical take on superheroes, except in The Authority, the superheroes are um, good, but they're the authority. It basically, it adopts a very, like, real politic attitude, where they're like, oh, yeah, superhumans would just be in con Sorry. Superhumans would just be in control of the world, you know? Um, so, basically, the authority is like the Justice League if they decided that they were sick of humans fucking things up and just took over themselves, but actually were good. Like, wait, I'm sorry, how do I put this? Okay, imagine if one of you suddenly got the powers of Superman and you were like, oh my god, all those lefty memes about solving the climate crisis with addresses and names, I can just do that right now, and then you just did it. Think of how the media would respond to that. And then you can go on the media and talk to, like, Fox News guy and be like, oh yeah, well they were killing the planet. You are too. You're really lucky you're alive right now. And then you can just le go live in space, you know? Like, th like that, that's, the, that's the authority, basically. Um, they're the moral authority, but they're right for most of the series, which makes it more interesting than most. Because usually the idea would be like, that makes them evil. But here, it's the, actually they're good. Um, they just don't really have any other systems by which they can make the world better. They pretty much instantly reject the idea that they should be limited to fighting against super villains. Um, anyway, the reason, the reason I'm getting to all this is because there's a villain that's, um, made by the government to take them down, and they pretty much do all the deep state, deep state conspiracy stuff. 
where it's like, oh yeah, all of the like financiers, bankers, and capitalists around the world are sick and tired of this, and they're going to knock them out, replace them, and use like uh, they're go all these people are going to like use their control over media to um, uh, uh, uh like create replacements that are popular. We're going to use like um, uh, uh, what's the term? Manufactured consent to make them loved by the people. Anyway, they make like a super villain to kill all the good guys, and they call him like the one hundred million dollar bastard, and he's basically the strongest guy in the universe. And I was thinking at the time, it only costs a hundred million dollars to make the strongest guy in the universe. Oh, it's over nine thousand! Thank you so much, guys. Fuck yeah, dude. Get out of the way! Sorry, that was like a totally unstructured rant. Oh, I'm out of. Nice <laughs> nine thousand dollars, guys. That is awesome. Stop shooting me. These guys keep shooting me, man. Ooh. Ooh. Ow, that hurt. You can melee? I keep forgetting that. Is it this way? What are the um, polling results looking like so far? I think I'm going the wrong way. Fifty-six percent in or Warnock's fifty Warnock fifty-six. Thirty-five percent in Warnock um five Warnock fifty-six, that's pretty good. What has Walker even done in the past month? Like, what has he done? Did you guys see those comments he made on media recently where he was like Seeing a kid's movie on my own makes me feel pervy, so I had to rent my neighbor's child to watch with me so I didn't feel weird. God, he's fucking weird, dude. He's so fucking weird. Have I been here? No, this is a new one. Ammo? <gasps> is that... Is that another John Halo? Is that a Jill Halo? No, wait, they're wearing fatigues. Okay, it's just like a heavily armored soldier. Sorry, just let me use my flashlight. Kalinsky covered dark news. Walker might have faked his mental illness to beat his wife. It's super cool that Walker is like an objectively abhorrent moral, like just, just literally objectively bad in every way and that this is a difficult race we have to fight for. I love Republicans, dude. It's great. They're actually more likely to vote for bad people. It's not even a politics thing. Like they're actually more disposed to walk, to, to vote for people who are morally bad. That's like an extra bonus in addition to the already morally bad politics. Up here? Gotta be up here. No, this was the other one. Where am I going? Jesus. Yeah, I don't want to look at that funny rhetorician. I gotta stay on topic. Guys, 9-11! 9-11! 9-11! 9-11, 9-11! 9 can we get it to 10k before I finish this level? At the rate that I'm walking around, that's almost uh, an inevitability. 9-11. Hassan Piker reference? Hassan Piker reference? 9-11? Hassan Piker re 9-11? I'm so lost right now. Yeah, hit exclamation point donate. 9-11. Bosh, go left. I'm going left. See? Left didn't work. Is this forward or backward? I have a feeling I'm actually more backward than before. Am I not? Oh! Oh! I missed. Oh, they're just gonna chill? That's cool. No, no, keep, keep, stay there.
We saw Hassan got banned off Twitch, right? Yeah, once again, I am now the largest leftist streamer um, in the uh, Western world. No, you can't in this game, Kirby Espada. Why did Hassan get banned? He got DMCA claimed by um, the Proud Boys guy, uh, fucking um, Gavin McGinnis, for watching the interview with Yee. We're screwed! We're screwed, man! Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember you're a leatherneck. Cortana. Remember you're a leatherneck? Is that a racial slur? I can fly us out of here. Hey. Somebody just donated ten dollars. There's a covenant dropship still docked. I just want you to know that means a lot. Every donation means a lot. Whether you're able to donate a ton or not so much, every amount counts. Thank you very much. Am I heading this way? It says to head this way. Am I am I abandoning my friends? Is that what I meant? To do? Highly necessary. Chad, is this still the first game? It's only been four hours with interruptions. My goodness. There's evidence Ethan Ralph did it. I'll check it a bit. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Gotcha, Kai Kai. The donation tracker is pretty laggy. Yeah, yeah, we don't have the direct API from Act Blue. The way you can do donations, like registered while going to another, um, while going to another source, is if you have access to their front API. Um, at least that's what White told me, I think. So with Act Blue, we don't like control the website, of course. So we, we only have access to like regurgitating the info given to us by the site rather than anything back end. Nice quote, Teth. It's probably safe to assume that if somebody's been in the NFL, they like can only get hard after beating a woman. Fuck yeah, funny rhetorician. Sisters of Battle are awesome to build. A lot of cool models there. The Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. Thanks, Omni. This is the one? Alright, people seem to like this level a lot. <gasps> John Halo music? Oh, little meme right there. Ooh. Ooh, did you see that shit? Hell yeah. John Halo. John Halo. That was a good storm. I want a warthog. This has an insane pro military vibe to it. Um, no, I don't really think so. I don't think it's necessarily wrong to have military jingoism in, like, settings like this. Um, I mean, it can to an extent. D Shot depending time. on the way the jingoism is, uh, okay, is, is portrayed. Let's go find the map well, we are fighting aliens, so... <gasps> Guys, it's the biggest ramp! Covering fire! Got him. Oh, man, what a miss!
Yeah, these guys are trying to genocide us, right? Like the Covenant, and it's not like the Covenant and humans are fighting over resources, right? The Covenant just wants us gone because they're all religious extremists. Some shit like that. That's probably not good. They probably shouldn't do this. Yes, 30 billion dead at this point in the war. Jesus Christ. Hey, you can just pri drive past them, by the way, lol. Hey, no Covenant lives. Except for the ones that dodge the truck. None shall live. I don't think I can go on. You don't think Medic! you can go on? Medic? You're fine. They're doing a jihad? Gotcha. Hey, Al. Imagine unironically doing a jihad. Pretty based. Oh fuck, I'm out of ammo. Whoa! Oh boy. The company's just resisting Western imperialism. Oh, we're fucking dead. We're fucking dead. Reload. Hey guys, we're not gonna die. We're playing smart, okay? My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Let's keep going inside. The Halo series has a special spot in my heart. I used to play every new installment with my stepdad until he passed away. Oh. Stuff like that can, uh, can mean a lot. Especially in retrospect. Well, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo for human weapons, which sucks because I like human weapons. Shut up. Someone gonna tell him he can punch? I know you can punch the enemies. Oh my god, guys. Uh, I'm aware. Fuck, I really want the pistol, but um, I'll drop the battle rifle, I guess. Da -da -da -da. What's your opinion on military youth orcs? I have a strong negative opinion of military youth orcs. That Don't shit is there to the groom you into being a soldier from day one. Ow! I don't even know what got me there. Don't let them lock the doors. There we go. We're good. Oh, they locked the door. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. Hmm. They've locked the doors. We don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. We lose. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security. I believe in you, big cat boy. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I gotta go up then? I may be out of contact when we get there. Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary. I always found it funny that I only got harassed by military recruiters when my grades were dog shit. Yeah, I get that, but it's still pretty fucked that, like, they would be aware of that. You know what I mean? They're like vultures looming over a bunch of underage kids. Like, oh, if the grades drop, then you gotta swoop in. Find the security override to get this door open. Keep driving. 55.8% Warnock with 41% reporting. That could be good. I just don't know which counties. Did you see out of that bloody visor? Yeah. See? 
I just don't know which Let's counties roll. that represents. Oh, nice. U uh, UNSC will also that is. Learning a lot of lore today. Graphics comparison? Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It lo looks like I'm looking at a fucking... Looks like I'm looking at a fucking Unity Early Access game with these shadows. Jesus. Um, why did they ruin the clean visual of the ring? This is so stark and cool. You just have, like, some... Like, this... Like, look at this. It's like... Guys, haven't you seen a ton of games on the Steam store that look like this? Like... Everything's all bloomed out, and you have, like, default... Ugh. And now it's so nice. Ugh. Yeesh. Yeah, it looks like Rust. Every game just wants to look like Rust. Oh, Overshield. You're right, I missed it. Forgot to get it. Beep beep. I'll just run back and get it. You can't even... Man, these visuals look nice. Why make it cloudy? What? I have not seen Interstellar. I'm not driving into the sea. Guys, 9300, you gotta kick it up. If you're only willing to donate when I do well in this game, then, uh, whew, the PB22 people, they're, uh, they're hosed. Have you been enjoying the game so far? I have been enjoying it. Very different from the games I've been playing lately, but it's still good. Looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. Emma? Hey, nice and smooth now. Emma? You like that? Emma. Overshield did not last long. Ow, 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 ow. I assume that the, uh, I assume the shield on John Halo's armor is, uh, Covenant technology. Since it's the only shield that I can see in the human's designs. Asshole. No? Humans made it? Scavenge shield tech and also brand new. How can it be scavenge but also brand new? Yeah, reverse engineered, yeah. God. Don't get yourself hurt, angry Vicky. Reverse engineered and improved? Man, us humans really are cool. Can I have a pistol? Pistol? God damn it, I should have kept my pistol. I walked over one? What the fuck? The Covenant are dumb, they literally don't innovate. Is that like a commentary on the uh, religious extremism? Oh, there it is, I see. John's suit also has a built-in waste management system. There's a hatch in the back. I could have told you that. 
Why would the why would they build a suit that jerks him off, but not a suit that you can open? That'd be weird. Stop shooting. Stop. suit doesn't jerk him off. Why are there people saying the suit doesn't jerk him off? It makes sense. The suit has to jerk him off. Improve. Light. Oh, stop. Ow. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Be very, very quiet. Man, this guy is stealing my fucking run and hide strategy. Oh my god. Man, they train those red elites well. He's chemically castrated, but the suit still jerks him off. This is proof of human genius. True. Is he really chemically castrated? They, they, the fucking futuristic human empire sure do like doing that. To their space marines. What? Stop! Ow! What the fuck? Who gave you a big gun? Um. Oh. You gonna fight each other? Stop. Get him! Get him! Come on, try it. Imagine not training your worms, Kung Fu. <laughs> if only you had the pistol. Okay, okay, we'll use the pistol. What? What? Okay. They have a weak spot in their back? Yeah, I shot it like 20 times with the rifle. Okay. So wait, in Halo 2, they nerf... They nerf the pistol, but they buff the laser pistol, right? I remember in Halo 2 campaign, the laser pistol was ridiculous. The pistol's like 50 cal, the rifle's like a 9mm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Wait, wait, what is the actual caliber of this pistol? Are these, these fucking deagles? Is this a bolt gun? 12740? Gotcha. Doesn't do much against shield. Fifty cal high explosive. Oh, Jesus Christ! I I feel like this really doesn't sound like a fifty cal pistol, um, like at all. God, it's nine thousand five hundred. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> Um. It's sci-fi. I feel I feel like every shot should sound like a colossal fucking boom. This is always discourse in the 40k games whenever they have like a bolt pistol, uh, bolter, or heavy bolter, because um, a lot of a lot of the time it feels like the developers of those games don't actually understand what the bolters are. So that so they sound really like pissy and weak. And then the community gets mad over it. Oh, did Dark Tide do a good job? Nice. 
Futuristic sound dampening, I guess. There is no way in hell the Warhammer universe would bother with sound dampening. They don't give a fuck about the guardsmen. Oh. Can we stop? This guy's dicking me right now. Jesus. I want- I want to kill the guys behind. Aren't bolters firing literal hand grenades in 40k? Yeah, they're- they're literal rockets. A bolt gun fu a bolt gun basically fires like a- like a- I- I don't- I, it- it basically fires- it's like a grenade launcher that fires rockets, and all the rockets were blessed in a church, basically. Dude. Oh my god. Dude, die. Did I get him? I'm defeated. This guy is John Halo. This guy is the real John Halo. No, I'm John Halo again. Holy shit, I thought for a second I wasn't the real John Halo, and I was gonna get really upset. 50% of the vote counted, 53% Warnock. New York Times is leading towards Warnock. Um... What's the county we're looking for? DeKalb? How many have been vo uh, counted there? <laughs> Light visor. Jesus! This is worse than... This is the worst yet. Holy shit! It's like it's like a, a fucking self-inflicted flashbang. Yes, this is the Master Chief collection. Why is it changing? I'm switching between the current and the remaster graphics. Well they're cool, Amini. If they're cool, they're cool. It's a sunny day on the beach. You want it to look like the abyss? We're in a dark building. Not every surface has to radiate light. It looks like a bug. I mean, it looks like a problem. Oh, I missed the critical spot there. Ow. One shot to the back. One single shot. That feels like a bug, man. One shot. That's insane. That's insane. Ah, uh, gotcha, Blablato. Firewood implant to suppress sex drive. Man, why can't soldiers have a little bit of little bit of sex drive? What are they so scared of? This, this looks, again, like, overly busy. I, I, I... <sighs> when are we expected to get results? We're currently getting results from the election. It just takes a while the before those results are, like, down the security parsable. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. Main shaft. 9600. 
nice close to see. Great. Who here saw that? Oh boy. Who here saw that uh the Halo TV show? I saw some clips from that and I fucking hated it. That looked so bad. Oh, they don't have shields. No. Flashbang. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I just saw I just saw like this 3D action sequence where they do the thing. They love doing this in cinematic adaptations of first person shooters where they'll like zoom into the first person perspective and like try to do a cool action scene the way it would look if you were playing the FPS, which is so dumb. Don't ever do that. It's so dumb. Chief, Bravo 22 was bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. Nice, Moon 13. Okay, so I have to go back to where I was before, right? Because I turned off the security system to open that one door. The Doom movie did that too? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about. You can get rockets from a shot down pelican if you jump down. I don't think that's true. Doom movie? Oh, it actually is? Hold on, one second. I've never actually seen this. Doom movie first person. First person shooting scenes movie clips, Doom 2005. Oh my god, this is so cheesy. Holy shit. This is so bad. I can't show because of DMCA. Um, but yeah, that's pretty bad. So fucking loud. Oh yeah, well. Down Pelican? Now. Well, there goes all of my overcharge health, but, you know. Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! Okay, we'll keep the pistol. Pistol rocket launcher, let's go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. To just walk back down. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's abandon that Marine who was in the other Warthog. Maybe. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh my god, it was right here? Okay. Never mind. Give me the Gep gun. Seventy-nine percent for Walker now. There is no way the general vote is for, is seventy-nine. Nor has the um, general vote been counted to seventy-nine. What is seventy-nine? Seventy-nine percent on the needle. Okay, gotcha. So about uh, about a uh, uh, eighty percent chance of winning. So violent. I do think the original Halo graphics had indoor spaces that were too dark. 
I can understand arguing the original was too dark, but the problem that I have is that a, a remaster should not be making changes like that, in my opinion. The purpose of a remaster is to take an old game and to make it... Geez, and to make it, like, accessible to a new generation. But when, when you've re-upped the graphics to the point that it fundamentally changes the experience of playing a level, that goes a bit too far for me. It's so weird! 5248, gotcha. No Lorekeeper Ash, but I've read the manga, so I know what happens. Also, if you're going to have better lighting, actually have lighting sources illuminating the environment, and don't just have everything emanate some kind of, like, permanent default glow, like you're still in the Unity editor or whatever. Open the door. Open the door. Oh. Huh? Shafted? The, t the title says Shafted. Are you a bad guy? You know what we do to red elites? I forgot to melee. You do know the remaster is 11 years old, right? Yeah, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, though. What's the difference it would make in Senate or Congress or whatever if Warnock wins? Well, it would mean one buffer um, in the um, in the Senate for Democrats. Go to the platform? What platform? What are you talking about? The additional buffer does make a big deal. For some issues, like with Warren, or with, uh, not Warnock, sorry, with, um, Mansion or whatever. Uh, piece of shit. Go back down? I hate you guys. What are you talking about? Go forward, but take a right? Oh my god. Okay. I found it. Come on, guys, we're so close to 10k. You gotta hit it. You gotta hit 10k. Or you all are 10 gay. Elon's getting sued by Twitter genders for union busting. Yeah, he did that. So wait. Jump? That's gonna kill me. Why would I jump? There's more stuff to do over here. There's like dudes over here. Okay, fine. I'll avoid the dudes. I jumped. Thanks. Jump towards wall, lol? Jump towards the wall. What? This? Look to your right. Oh, it's a level skip. Oh, well, I just fell off accidentally. Why would you, why would you not say jump, like, look for the platform? It's a legit speedrunning strat if you do it right. But I'm not going to do it right. I need an overshield to survive that fall, probably. What are you guys doing? What are you goofy goobers doing? Trying to, trying to do this shit. My god. What an embarrassment. I'm so embarrassed. I'm cringing at you guys right now. Why was this not fully loaded? Wow. That's why I don't say shit. Chat never knows how to give good directions. Trying to sabotage me. 
Huh? How the fuck did you die like that? I love that you flip your pistol like a gunslinger. Yeah, that's a John Halo classic right there. Yeah, the sound design is pretty good. Okay, wait, we can't... Okay, wait, this is the way we were. And then we went through there. So now we gotta go out here. Bazinga. Are there any good graphics remasters in your opinion? For me, the gold standard for graphics remasters have always been, well, I guess for me, my personal preference would be StarCraft Remastered and um, the Diablo 2 Remaster. Those two are just like insanely good. Um, they are so incredibly detailed and beautiful while maintaining the art style and the gameplay. It feels exactly the same to play, but it looks so much better. Hey. People are saying the Halo 2 remaster is really good, so I guess we'll be getting to that soon. Hi. You guys suck. Oh. You guys suck so much. Under Plague 6, I have done like a million rants about uh, Warcraft Reforged. I think chat's pretty tired of them by now. I think I've actually gone on like four or maybe five stun locks on the Warcraft 3 remaster. Oh god, why did I do that? I think I should be able to survive falls of any height, by the way. I think John Halo should not be able to take fall damage. I did it again. I did it. I did it. Again. All skill. Speed running tactic. You guys wouldn't know. You guys wouldn't know it. Speed running community doesn't even know it. Nobody knows it. Only me. I believe there's no fall damage in 2 and 3. Well, there really shouldn't be. You know, you you really you have to like pace out the kind of challenge to the, to the environment you're in. And the idea of someone in power armor taking fall damage like that is really dumb. Especially because Master Chief has like um pretty sleek power armor. He's not like a space marine from Warhammer where he's in like 8 tons of ceramite. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. What's wrong with fall damage? I don't mind fall damage. It's just like... Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely what I am, place to put you know? such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Case. Wait, a shrine is such an insignificant place to put something? Have you ever heard of religion? The ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Keep trying. Somebody says I'm a bit quiet. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Oh. Oh. This whole thing I've been trying to stick to the fucking metal panels here. Fall taking fall damage in Fallout 4 power armor makes sense, because Fallout 4 power armor doesn't come across as that advanced. It's basically just like a giant metal brick you walk around in. But Master Chief's armor is way more advanced than the power armor in um, Fallout. Nice spray. Hmm. Hell yeah. Ow. Can't believe melee interrupts your reload. So realistic. Gotcha. You don't take fall damage in Fallout 4 armor? Really?
Fall damage is weird in Halo since Spartans survive falling from Well, apparently in Halo 2 and 3, he doesn't have fall damage, so I'm right anyway. Where am I going? Chat? I wasn't paying full attention to the last cutscene. Where am I going? So floaty. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Back up top? Okay. I'm used to modern shooters doing everything in their power to avoid making you uh, backtrack, so it, it, I'm surprised this game is making you do it so much. It's not bad to backtrack, necessarily. Backtra backtracking gets such a bad rep, but I genuinely don't think it, like... I don't think it negatively impacts a game experience that much. The worst thing for backtracking is if they don't put enemies in the way, um, which they do here. Like, you have to make a new challenge on the way back. Um, or if the environment is boring to navigate, or if your character isn't fun to move. But to be fair, in this game, John Halo was not that fun to move. They... Wow, they sure did activate the action music. Look at the race. If you guys are worried about the Georgia race, all you need to focus on right now is donating to the act blue link that you can find if you hit exclamation point donate, okay? Focus on what you can change, not on what you can't. At this point, it's in God's hands. How, where how the fuck do I get up? Where's up? Up. This is down. Up. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 Got him. And it only cost my life. Oh, hey. Back here. Nice ass. Thank you. I really like walking everywhere in Nier Automata. Yeah, Nier Automata uh, does not have any kind of painful backtracking because you move so quickly. And the environments are pretty, you know? Boat count's pretty close, but basically nothing from the Calvus coming yet. Have faith, guys. Ah. Death Stranding. Well, Death Stranding doesn't really have backtracking. The whole point of the game is delivering shit. That'd be like saying there's backtracking in a racing game because you go around the same area over and over. Backtracking is nice and near because you get to stare at Tubi's ass. That's true. Man, those guys are pretty tough. The dudes, the shields. I don't do anything out of man because I'm stupid. Oh, these are the two. Ah. We're gonna need to fight these guys a bit more strategically. Wish I had the battle rifle, or assault rifle, or whatever it's called. Shoot them in the pistol hand and make them flinch? I'm trying! Ah. 
Ow, 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 ow. I'm fucking dead again. Ah. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Holy shit. Okay, we fine in this corner? Light check? Light check. Yes, this is the remake OST. Apparently it can only be changed from the main menu. Fuck, I missed. Oh. Three more rockets. It stays faithful, at least. I do not mind the music at all. I think it sounds nice. Oh, nice. We just got a checkpoint. Three more rockets is worth preserving. Um, I will switch. Pistol. Gotta get ammo somehow. It's okay if you're not familiar with the original OST. I've heard the original OST. Come on, guys. We're almost at 10k. The goobsters. We're almost there. Think of all of those um, EV-22 people going out there and canvassing and putting in the hard work. God damn it. Don't you want to show them your appreciation? Go forth, heroes. Listen, you all are like the flirty, coquettish ladies who greet soldiers when they arrive from the battlefield, you know? They went out there and fought and died for you. And now, what you have to do is spend the rest of your life sucking their dick. Okay? And that's what this is for. No! What if I don't like men? Not all fu fucking men aren't the only ones that have dicks. Get with the program. Oh my god. I will never get over the insane difference in lighting. Holy shit. Jesus. Melee the elite? No, he'll fucking bat me. I don't want to get bat. You think you'll like 3? How would I know? I ain't played it. And playing Halo 1 doesn't really tell me anything about how Halo 3 will be. Have faith in Warnock, guys. And have faith in our boys, girls, and non-binary people. Up and in a PV-22. Are you excited to try it? Well, yeah, I'm excited to do a 24-hour stream. Just remember why I'm here. Good fly. Oh, oh shit, hold on. That's a red elite. Damn it. For the Red Elites, we have the Rocket Launcher. Boom. Yeah, from the brief off-screen looks that I've been taking at the tallied votes thus far, my, op my opinion is positive. You guys see the, um... The lead for Warnock narrowing, but keep in mind that it doesn't take as long to count votes in a lot of rural counties. Pistol and battle rifle. Very nice. Do I keep the rockets even if I have only two of them? I think I do, actually. And I just switch over to the pistol again. Yeah. Oh, especially if I'm about to get another chance to use one. One rocket. I'll take the battle rifle. Or assault rifle. Whatever it's called. 
You guys keep confusing me with that. Okay. Oh, I keep hitting tab because tab brings up the map in Doom as well. So anytime I think, hmm, where do I go next? I hit tab and then all of a sudden I get flashbanged. Gotcha. One of those hit your fucking hand. Got him. Ooh. So close to 10k. Ah. $32.80 away, if my math is correct. One of you is going to pop that. Please melee the jackals. I did earlier! I have demonstrated an awareness. 3120? No, it's 3220 or 3280. Shut up. Don't distract me. This way? This way? Oh, that's right, because now we're back up at the top. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow. Alright. Good luck. Wait, why are we paying them and sucking their dick? You paying them is sucking their dick. Also, you're not like paying. It's it's a it's a canvassing order. They need money to operate. Oh, I wouldn't go about it that way, Cody Richards. Can I literally suck their dick too? Yeah, sure, but prioritize the monetary support. Cortana to Echo Four Nineteen. The chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. <gasps> Aliusi. Can the alien sword be survived if you have an overshield? Like, is there any amount of health you can have? Or is it just coded as an instant kill no matter what? No? Okay, gotcha. Just... I always really liked the penguin ship. 10k! Guys! Whoever just kicked it over, thank you so goddamn much. Thank you very much. AI hey, betrayed chat, penguin, pelican, whatever. They're both birds. Let's get moving. Go hammer. Here are coordinates and a flight plan I've worked on. Thank you so much for the incredibly kind donor. Penguin. The last thing the Covenant will expect is an aerial insertion from underground. Neat. I really wish you would stop giving me fucking Xbox achievements. I'm on my computer, not an Xbox. Thank you, Absatov. <laughs> this level fucking sucks. Have fun. Hmm. Halfway there, lads. What's up? Ow. And again. Oh. Ow. Just kill Oh, 
Oh, oh. It's a massacre in here. You guys see that tracking? Only a very dim-witted chimpanzee could track that well. Oh, hey, though. We're raising money to uh, keep uh, the PV-22 canvassing uh, operation green and functional. Whoa! Yeah, nearly a 10.3 kicking up. Walker underperforming in nearly every core county he won last time. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Personally, I find it very stressful just watching that shit with my eyeballs right on the, uh, the updating tracker. That shit just gives me anxiety. Give me. Nope. It's Halo 1, Doe. Hey, Doe, since you haven't been here for all the discourse, check out Halo 1, original graphics, remastered graphics. Which one do you prefer? This is an IQ test. Ow. The updated one looked bad, Lamau. High IQ, Doe. Smartest of the forest animals. Well done. I'll tell you, the remastered graphics are not the only thing that looks bad here. <laughs> Look at that tracking. Ah! I'm like a real-life marine. Give me a plasma pistol. That's a needler. Hey, quick question. Do you think John Halo could maybe keep his pistol um, loaded in, in, his, in his pocket so that he doesn't have to dramatically like cock it every time he pulls it out? Would that be okay with him, maybe? That, that didn't hit me. Fuck you. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck up. Oh, God. Are you a super soldier? Yeah, I can fucking deal with you guys, so I must be. Oh, my God. No, dude, the needler fucking sucks because by the time you've gotten enough needles together through any real damage, they've already killed you. Skill issue? Yeah, probably. It's a long range weapon. Uh, is it? Is the needler meant to be used from long range? Is that true? No, it's not. Yeah, I've seen like a mid-range weapon. But the things are really slow for long range. Yeah, we gotta take out my big red elite friends, allies. The red elite is the... The red elite has consistently been like the one guy we die to over and over and over again. Like every time, not every time we die, but that's definitely been the majority of our deaths. This guy is my bane, my fucking enemy. Oh, my enemy. This guy is my enemy. Whoa, the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. A -o -o, a -o -o, a -o -o, a -o -o. Hey. Recovery presence uh, 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 oh. is stronger than I anticipated. They seem to have the entire region secured. <laughs> Kill me. Uh. Can I untonate to the charity? Uh. Nope, too late. <laughs> no, I finished Arcane. I, I I watched all of it. Warnock just got a huge drop. Yes! Big news! Um, one of the, uh, one of the, 
one of the Warnock mules just finally got their shit counted. Big news. Let me get a... Um... Yep. The Cabot 45. Oh, that's a big drop. What's your take on Silco, the revolutionary leader? Um, I really liked Arcane. My, my, I think my main issue with Arcane is that, um, I felt like up until the very end, it wasn't very character driven in the way that I like. No, let me, I'm sorry. That's a bad way of phrasing my criticism. Let me think, let me think of a better way. I think... I think my my problem was more okay okay here's what I have to say I didn't like the way Jinx was done as a character and I feel like they had so many like lead characters in the show that a lot of the stuff the characters were going to do felt kind of inevitable if that makes sense like it didn't feel like I was watching and waiting to see how like the particular personalities would motivate their decision and more like I know the beats and I'm just like watching them run along the line if that makes any sense Keep in mind, I liked the line. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it wasn't a bad show. It was great. Um, also, keep in mind that like my standards were raised quite a bit because of how the show looked. The show did a million things amazingly and innovatively when it comes to visuals, but then when it comes to story beats, it feels like felt pretty like I don't know expected in a lot of ways. I win. If that makes any sense. I have not seen Andor. Was Cyberpunk better? I didn't think... So Cyberpunk, to me, didn't feel character-driven at all. Um, but I liked it for that. To me, Cyberpunk felt more like a... Like a, like a fable. Where, where like, the, the, the characters are basically just there to be victims of the cruel world. And that story... Their victimization is like the actual point. Yeah, it, it didn't feel like it was about them doing stuff. It felt more like the world doing stuff to them and them just trying to accommodate that. Yeah, like a myth being told. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers want to be installed. To me, yeah, Night City is the character. To me, the biggest, like, reinforcement of that was the fact that, like, okay, close your ears for 15 seconds if you don't want to be spoiled to the end, okay? To me, the biggest indicator of that was that, um, at the end of the show, the big bad, in terms of, like, physical fighting shows up, kills the protag, and nothing happens to him. You know? Like, at the end, the Atom guy just shows up decks our pro tag and that's it you know um and I, I think that really sells it as like it's not a narrative story you know it's a, it's a story about the city okay done i'm done okay um quoteth Edge Runners wasn't the cyberpunk that I'm looking for as a genre setter, but I liked the story a lot. I liked it. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the rings environment systems are malfunctioning, or if the designers want it. Okay. I think I have to take this more seriously. Interesting. The weather patterns are seen natural, not artificial. I wonder if the rain's environment systems are not functional. Or if the designer ow, 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 ow. Jesus Christ. I haven't seen a big cat boy. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this planet. You know, you can one-hit kill these enemies by meleeing them, right? I can melee in this game? I didn't know that. Chat hadn't let me know that before. Chris Raygun in YouTube chat? Hey, CRG! What's up? Do you, uh, by, do you by chance have, uh, have a name on the site? Wait, hold on. I got it has to load all of YouTube chat. What difficulty? Just heroic. 
I don't think I've ever done the um, Halo 1 campaign. And we're doing a 24-hour stream here. I'm not here to get bogged down on one section for 59, you know, consecutive deaths. Oh, Christ. Though I might get those anyway. Yeah, Heroic is canon difficulty. What do you think of the Chainsaw Man anime? Apparently a lot of people hate it. Dude, nobody hates the Chainsaw Man anime. People love it. People are losing their shit. I'm losing my shit. It's pretty good. Um, it's a good-ass show. Okay, come on. Let's take this seriously. We're talking too much with chat. I'm looking too much at chat. God, the fucking Banshees. Fuck you. Request immediate assistance. Would you recommend manga? Yes. Plasma is so slow in video games. Oh. Oh. I just got knocked the fuck around. Hard to check YouTube chat as well. Here, we need to get down there. The shade turret sucks. Yeah, the bullets move at like five miles an hour, which seems suboptimal, I guess. Jesus Christ. Okay. How do we how do we actually do this? This is a good part to stealth. I don't believe in stealth. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. See, it's still shooting me. That's not stealthy. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part. Hey, CRG. Also, the pistol fucks Banshees up. Good old Earth engineering. Oh my, dude, what? It's sm man, this this gun is fucking broken, dude. Jesus Christ. All right, we got it. Pistol is a scope. Also, hey, good to see you, CRG. Um, we're doing a 24-hour fundraiser here because there's a canvassing organization that I'm affiliated with, Progressive Victory 22, or 2022, um, that uh, has done a lot of really good work. We're here to pay off a couple of existing debts, which looks like they've already been more than covered, um, and also to build up a cash base so for future elections they can continue to operate. Oh. oh, wait. It's got a shield. I have to use the sticky. Fuck! Hey! Okay, it worked out. It's fine. It worked out. Has any game ever done a grenade revolver? Yeah, um, Time Splitters. Time Splitters had, um, you could dual wield grenade revolvers in, uh, Time Splitters 2, I think, and they fucking smacked. Or, a uh, slap? Yeah. Also, TF2 has them. Alright, we did it. How much Halo have you played before? Not very much. Oh, dude, they're just chilling. Don't worry about it. War crime? Well, they might, like, pop up and attack me. You know what I think would be kind of fun? I think, um... Oh. 
imagine a game where you actually have to abide by war crime laws. You know what I mean? Like, um, like if you fire before rules of engagement, like, uh, conflict escalation gives you permission to. You got that, and like, like, the civilians are pretty much everywhere and you have to avoid killing them and so on. Um, I feel like there, I feel like there could be a good framework for a game there. Oh, nope. Thank you. Exactly. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No, I've done good. Don't shoot. Don't, no, don't shoot. Do you like men with feline-like features? Hello, big cat boy. Why do you ask? Whoa. You're fucking ki- Okay. Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not Alright, we're doing this easy peasy. Environment systems are not functioning. <laughs> 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 Oh, whoops. Okay, this time for real, though. Hit the gritty. The only one who's going to be hitting the gritty is this Banshee. I don't know how to do the gritty. Just... Oh, they're in random locations every time. Didn't realize that. Oh, I'm shooting you. Oh. Ah. Okay, we got this. Cortana to Fireteam Zulu. I read you. Um, I know Turkey Tom. Isn't he a reactionary? Is it like a weirdo or something? Um, he put my pick up when he saw bronies. Uh, that's probably just a joke about me and horses. No, I'm definitely not a brony. I've only ever found that show annoying. Got him. Okay. We got this. Guys, we're at a 10.7. We're nearly at 11k raised. I didn't realize the pistol was so good against Banshees. Well, if, yeah, because it fucking shouldn't be. It's irrational how good it is. Hi. Stop. Did he just roll off the edge? I think he just rolled off the... I think... I think he just rolled out the window. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty true. War crime. War crime. War crime. Maybe shouldn't shouldn't be so uh, sleepy on the job. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Come on, do it a time. Nice black door. Graphics comparison while you have the view. Again, look. It's it's just there is no playing with contrast. Everything just looks like it's lit in a fucking showroom, man. Um like even in the original here, there's so much more effect played with with the light streaming from above as this like distant source of light that just sort of makes its way down the caverns but here that's gone it's just like everything just has light as a property it's not as bad as a lot of other vistas we've seen but 
still. Okay, well, that fucking hurt. Oh, Chris Raygun. We have been talking about that non-stop the whole time we've been playing this. We have been insufferable about it. Okay. Let's get through this goddamn bridge. Please, God. Checkpoint. Thank God. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice try. Why is this so close? Because Republicans like evil. Grab the sword. We can't. Uh, in Halo 1, the sword was not actually a weapon. Look, look at all these Halo noobs not knowing that. <laughs> Oh boy. No. Oh, this guy's dodging. He's invisible and he's dodging. Ow. Okay, nice one. Cool. Maybe do that less? I don't know. Fast as you can click. I can't click that fast. This makes me feel good about how terrible I am at Halo. You guys are so mean. So mean to me. Honest to God. Oh, hey, fuck yes. Good old American weapons. Get in here. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Hey, what's up? Oh, I, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try that again. Now that I have the pistol out. Good, good shit. Good shot. Do it again. Uh -huh. Okay, one more. Yeah, get, get, yeah, get. Nice one. One shot. One kill. One shot. One kill. Wow, Vosh, your aim is wretched. Wretched? You really gonna hit me with the wretched? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ghastly. You gotta hit me with the mortifying. Oh my god. No, I'm good, Canoe, but thank you. Oh, actually, a cup of coffee would be lovely. Um, I am five hours into a 24-hour stream. I cannot believe it. Time's passing a bit slower for me because this game is harder um, than the games I normally play for the 24-hour streams. Usually I'm playing, like, Nintendo 64 platforming classics, which are, you know, I mean, I played those games so much when I was a kid that a lot of those games are down to muscle memory. Oy. Chris Reagan, you're still here, right? Man, it's just... It's the way they don't have the confidence to play with lighting or just leave simple textures. You know? Like... Like, look at this. This, to me, reads as, like... Does this not read to you guys as, like, a concrete block? Right? Like, this is like a bridge foundation support, you know? And it has an inset cut into it that has some lights installed. I mean, it's a little bit simple and blocky, but that's what I feel. Um, but then it's, and then it's like, no, actually, it's like 
some weird low resolution indistinct s steel sci-fi what is this this looks fine yeah there's like a pleasant brutalism to the the original designs yeah it's generic and it's noisy and the lighting man Ugh. Also, the simplicity adds to the sense of military austerity. Yeah, I agree. Look, if you want, um, if you want detailed paneling right here, this to me looks like um, lockers, or or this looks like um, access panels that you could pull open, and an engineer could like ch take a look at like the, the the hydraulics and the 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 electronics and the inside of the the structure, um, and then, it, um, and then it's like. Okay, actually, I'm going to give them credit here, and I'm just going to say that this is one of the few times I think they've actually maintained the same basic... Okay, no, all right. I still like the original one more, just... They kept the same idea. The Forerunners embellish the structures a lot. It fits better in the remaster. But this doesn't look like embellishment in, like, a fancy way. It just looks like generic sci-fi. Like, this just looks like brutalism, open parentheses, sci-fi, close parentheses, open parentheses, open parentheses, stupid, close parentheses. Uh, it doesn't really look like embe Maybe the door does a bit? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I think I'm going the wrong way. I've confirmed my previous suspicion that I'm going the wrong way. It also doesn't look ancient. Yeah, that's true. This could read as ancient just through its, like, kind of derelict simplicity, but this does not read as it at all. 74% reporting? Nice. Where am I going? Oh, uh, here. Here? Here. Almost 11k raised? Yeah, guys! Almost up to 11,000. We have never, ever once failed to hit a goal um, when fundraising. I know that you guys won't fail this time either. Thank you everyone who's donated. It means a lot. If we win today in Georgia, and I think that we will, um, then we will have the PV22 people to thank. The slimmer the margin, the more we thank them. And even if we don't win, um, all that means is that if we'd had the ability to mobilize more people, muster more support, we could have won. Eh? <laughs> oh, did I miss? There we go. Cute, 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 cute. I feel like I should use the plasma rifle so that I have more uh, interplay with the shields. Exactly, crab doodles. Wow. More knock number go up. What's the current? Whoa, 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 whoa. Those miss? What's the current up and up? Fifty point forty nine to forty nine point fifty one. God damn, that's close. Yeah, but we're still waiting on big vote dumps. There's more votes to count from the Warnock strongholds. We'll see. Let's 
Splatoon Squad. I still like 196 very much. I think 196 is the best meme subreddit on Reddit by a pretty wide margin. It has its issues, but I think for the most part it's quite good. Whoa. Okay, how do I approach this? Ah! Wait. I was hoping this would be a vehicle. That's a vehicle! Hello! Hey. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. That's not calm. Wait, you can't hijack it? That's the big Covenant tank. I want it, though. Not in this game? Aww. Huh? Oh. Alright, well, let's get it not firing at us. Oh, wait, is that a crashed Banshee? I wonder if I can pilot that. I got you, CRG. Well, that's up next. I thought that guy might be a Marine. Hey. Hey. Gimme. 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 I went in. Gimme. Gimme. I'm hitting E. Gimme. Oh, I can't kill an elite in there without destroying the damn thing. Here, gimme this. I want it. Give me. Oh, it's broken. Fuck. Oh, big guns. Big news. Alright. Now maybe we can kill. Is that good? Nah, probably not. Hmm. There are a couple of things I want to deal with here. There we go. That'll count it. Now let's, uh... Hmm. Okay. There we go. God, all the time I spent in Blood Bowl for this thing. Ow. Let's clear the map a bit, then I'll use the rocket launcher on the tank. That seems like a plan. Ah, uh, there's another undamaged one over there. That's good. I assume only the elites can ride these. Look pretty silly to have a grunt in them. Yeah, like that. Ah, well. Hold on, I saw some rockets. Oh, I'm full up. Okay, hold on. Come on. Come on. I'm dead, aren't I? This was very overconfident of me. Yep. Okay, we're gonna play this a little more carefully now. Hold on. You tried? Did I? Okay, this time for real. We're gonna eliminate all threats from afar with our snipper right. There is no try? You fucking nerd. You goddamn buffoon. Hello. Oh, just a, a teaspoon of milk and, and creamer in addition to the coffee and some cinnamon on top. No, no, just the creamer. Thank you. Nice. Whoa! Ah. Ah. I know it's a necessary balancing thing because sniper rifles are really fucking strong, and so is the pistol with its scope. But I do wish you didn't get knocked out of scope uh, every time you took any damage. It's so frustrating. 
Okay, 196, not 196. Gotcha. Wait, is that an ally? In that? Holy shit, it is. Dude, I didn't know they would do that on their own. Hell yeah. Goddamn hero trooper out there. Okay, we gotta go support him. Shoot him? No, that guy's a hero. What the fuck? Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the AI, Sergi. Do people call you CRG? Am I the only one doing that out of laziness? Chris? Hello, Chris. Sorry. Chris is your name. Being correct about the Halo remaster is your name. Ride the Warthog? What if it shoots me? Is it dodging me? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We would not have would would not have lasted long doing that. Let's get these extra rockets. Then uh, we're taking the ghost. We're going ghost. <laughs> Yo, he was Fonch, and he was just 27, but he got in the other games. I've never heard anyone call for CRG. Rolls off the tongue. Whoa! Wait, is there a boost? What is the boost button? Not in one? Huh. Beep, beep. Okay. Alt fire? I don't... What is alt fire? Dude, there are so many. Holy shit. It'll be right click in the next games. Okay, gotcha. Friends! <gasps> Let me in. Hello. Thank you very, very much. I uh, gotcha. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Oh, here. Oh, God. It's just. There you go. The incredible power of John Halo. I didn't realize that I had control of the gun and the drift. It said enter Scorpion driver seat, so I assumed that I could only drive. Glad you can make it to the party, sir. It has a launcher and a turret. That's so cool. Okay, chill out. What? What? None of those? What? 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 Well, this isn't going very fucking well. What the fuck? This is going so badly. Holy shit, try again. Try over, holy, oh my god. Hey, you guys never told me we broke 11k. Yes, we did? Oh, well I was playing a video game. What do you want from me? What do you expect? Come on. The Adventures of John Halo continue. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. 
Holy shit. We did what we were, Chris. That's the elite that jumped from the bridge? Which one is? The one that's piloting the ghost? How do you know? I hate, hate that it only has two bullets in it to start. It's the tree! The tree was blocking it the whole time. That sucks. That's the game's fault, not mine. I was so confused there. Holy shit. Fucking Covenant tree, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, me too, buddy. Hey, stay still. Not gonna stay still. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Take the warthog and run. Wait, am I not supposed to kill every single dude? Wait, what? What? What if I just ran ahead? No, lol. You don't have to. Oh. What if I just like? What if I just skedaddle? Can I, can I just skedaddle? Maybe. Because I want the big tank. That's what I want. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh god, the ice. Oh god, they have ice physics. Ooh. Yeah, good driving. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in. Let me. Let me in. I want it. I want it. There we go. I'm stuck. What? Wait. Why can they still damage me when I'm in the tank? When I'm in the ghost, the ghost is the one that takes damage. Why does the tank not provide me cover? It's a tank. The ghost has a separate... Okay. Fucking... <laughs> Whatever, dude. You can also get damage in the ghost. You're meant to keep moving. But I'm in a tank. Okay, we're getting in that tank, and this time we're using the machine gun. Right click, big shoot. Your head is exposed in the tank. That is remarkably retarded. Also, chat donator, I'll get mad. Nice. John Halo, flip. John Halo, get in. Okay. It's meant to simulate rounds penetrating the armor. That's still stupid. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I have to leave. I can't watch this. Donate before you leave or I'll ban you from chat. Let me in. Master Chief, sir. Master Chief, sir. Covering fire. Ten. Hup. Hup two. Hup two. Let's get the fuck out of here. Good luck, guys. You're all gonna die, but to be fair, I probably will too. The human vehicles in Combat Evolved are uh, indestructible. Really? They can't be destroyed at all? 
caballo. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. How? Where does the shot land? Okay, it's like in the upper half of the thing. Okay, thank God we did it. We stabilized. It's like it's like in the upper half of the box. Okay. I see. All right. Wow, this thing is slippery. Holy shit. Ammo and health of the pelican. Oh my god, there's a fucking penguin over here. Up to, up to, up to. Do you play Halo Reach half the trilogy? How far do you think, given my skill, how far do you think I'm going to get in one 24-hour block? Especially considering the fact that towards the latter bits of the 24-hour block, I'm going to be a lot worse. See, Chris, everyone else is saying, um, everyone else is saying, oh, actually, Reach is the best. Oh, actually, ODSD or whatever is the best. Everyone's got different opinions. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Dun, 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 dun. Gotcha. We got this. I like Reach better story. Story? Wow. Big gun. Thank goodness for checkpoints, huh? Wow. Big gun. Thank goodness for checkpoints, huh? Got it that time. ODST has better ambiance and soundtrack. What are you guys playing the Halo games for? I'm here to root, toot, point, and shoot. Did that seriously miss? What? I swear to God, the smoke trail for that shot actually went through the the center. Can navigate a 3D space while shooting. I disagree. Place their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. This also doesn't really feel like a treaded tank. This feels like a hovercraft. Oh yeah, for sure, Chris. I'd love to have you on. Go ahead. Man. Nice. What the fuck was that shot? Let me restore my shields. No. No. Heal, 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 heal. I won't forget, Canoe. 
I won't betray you the way I betrayed Vermin, by forgetting to drink the coffee. That was made for me. Hey, Santa Corvus. Eleven point two K, huh, guys? What is my my sickeningly poor performance to two? What the fuck? My sickeningly poor performance deterring you? Huh? Is that it? Is that it? Bosh Warnock one. Why are people saying Warnock one? No, we, we don't know yet. Chat, don't listen to other people in chat. They're just trying to get your hopes up. Dave Wasserman called it for Warnock. Oh, wait, that's actually a pretty big deal. Dave, uh... Dave, Dave has the gift of prophecy. I've seen enough Senator Raphael Warnock defeats Herschel Walker in the um, Georgia Senator runoff, giving Democrats a 51 to 49 majority. Hell yeah. He could still end up being wrong, but um, I trust his assessment. Bosh, I'm tired. No, you're not tired. What you are is overburdened with money. And boy, do I have a solution uh, to you and your problems. New York Times is Walker in the lead. On count or on prediction? Because those are two very different things. How's that, T? Who cares about the New York Times anyway? They suck. Oh boy. Ow. Yeah, I figured that manly chem guy. Destiny didn't take too kindly to your friendly jab the other day. Friendly jab? What I even say? Didn't know that, but good luck to him. Um, I, uh, I I assume that sometime in the past few weeks, a leftist told him, um, "Heh, it would be terrible if you did canvassing in Georgia." So now he's motivated by the spite. They, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, you know. I wish that his fucking disgusting fuck ear infection killed this brainlet fucking moron. I think the world would be a better place. Interesting. He's never beating the spite allegations. He's so mad. Well, he's mostly mad that he can't get my at attention. Um, more so than anything else. It's like when the guys on Tinder message you a bunch of like flirty shit, but then you don't respond, so they're like, wow, you're fat anyway. Whoa! You're the one who got me last time. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to hit this guy from here with how bad the cannon aim is. People were defending him, saying you trashed all his work, but his reaction was just fine. De the Destiny fans will defend anything he says. There's nothing, like, interesting or new there. That being said, I think I defended his work in canvassing. I think I pretty specifically said that it was good that he was doing that. God damn it. Uh-oh, Zan. Maybe it's because it's been like a long stream or something? I'm not really sure. 
Maybe Mesa Windu, yeah. No, I missed. Get it! Get it! None of my weapons work. Okay. Where's Chris? Oh, um, yeah, when Chris DMs me, we'll talk. Taking it nice and slow. The Covenant placed their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. Both easy and easy. One of the funniest things about arguing with defense, they always deny being defense. Well, they do the same thing Nazis do in the sense of like, they, they don't actually like directly state their position. Instead, they'll ask you like leading questions about what it is you believe and they, uh, they won't like front what they actually believe. So it's, it's, it's like, um, ah, so you actually think this, or, ah, well, I'm just asking about this, or whatever. Which, they, they it's like the jacking off thing that you, you get from the Nazis usually. But, uh, Adolf Hitler, Destiny, I repeat myself. You can always tell who's a fan of mine because they're calling me a pedophile. Sea lining is the term. Sea lining is when you're like constantly like um, pushing for a debate, um, and you're you're doing so in like very annoying, fronted, disingenuous language. Uh, oh well, certainly if you have this position, if you really do believe that the toothbrushing session should be done twice a day, then maybe you would like to debate statistics and studies on the exact like plaque count of people who have. And, and, and like uh, over and over and over again, like ba basically, ah, oh, aren't you willing to discuss? Of course, obviously, at all times. Always, under all circumstances, are people not willing to defend all of their positions because if you would just do that anytime anyone asked you, you would never get the chance to breathe or sleep or eat or whatever. Um, but they do that a lot. Careful, Destiny might shoot you for criticizing him. Damn, yeah. Gotta watch out any of those IRL conferences in the future. Oh my god, gotta make sure my hotel door is locked. All jokes aside, I wish he was dead because he made a joke, well, not really a joke, I guess, um, about uh, th him being spite-based. That's quite the escalation. Sheesh. He talked about you at his event? What event? Okay, we're being real careful. We're getting it for sure this time. IRL meetup? Oh, okay. One of these days. Did that get it? Nope. It's... Why is it so... fucking inaccurate? It's insane how inaccurate this cannon is. Okay. Whoa! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Fuck! Idiot. Dumbass. What does the tank look like in the remaster? Um. Pretty much the same. I think that's fine. I have no issue with this. Uh, I have no issue with this. It looks fine to me. It looks like shit. I, I would recognize this as the Scorpion, even as, like, a non-Halo fan. Beep, beep. The remaster is too dark? That's the only time that's been the case. Make it go open. Open. What? Oh.
Wait, does Destiny think the things on my ears are an infection? It's a keloid. It's just scar tissue. It can't kill you. What? I, I didn't even process that. There we go. Oh, nice. Hey, Chris. Hold on. Called Warnock wins. Yeah, hell yeah. Let me, we'll talk to the PV-22 lads in just a second. Um, let me talk to Chris for a bit. We're, we're, we're friends on Discord, aren't we? Hey, hey. Hey! How's it going? Doing good. Showcasing a tremendous amount of skill. Uh, my chat's very proud of me. <laughs> it's look CE is a bit it's it's of its time you know There's... I'm enjoying it I think it's a good game um no, it, yeah it is great but it's definitely little things <laughs> that you know they haven't aged all that well I still think it's great but oh I do like the scorpion tank having the um the the, the like fire variants of like a musket you know or or, or maybe like a, a you know like a lead ball filled, put in a tin can with some gunpowder in it, you know? It's, it's <laughs> phenomenal accuracy on this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? How I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, I think I think the last time was during the last time you did something like this, actually. <laughs> I think I think you were doing a... It must have been like a... It must have been like another 24-hour stream, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it would have been... I think timing timing wise, my guess would be um, PCRF, the the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, playing that sounds a bunch right. of like Nintendo sixty four games, which was a lot of fun. Um, I was also better at those than this. God damn it! I'm I'm dropping the scorpion here. Holy shit! I'm such a big target. Um, or at least I'm gonna clear this area without it. You're um you're a Halo super fan, right? That's what chat keeps telling me. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I, I've dabbled. I have a lot of videos on it um, at this point. I've, I, it's it's tricky. It's it's. I feel like I am, but also lately, uh, not so much. You know, uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I, I've I've lived long enough to see all of my favorite things kind of get worse. Well, the and, most uh, recent one was Halo Infinite, right? I've just seen the Donkey video. That's the open world one, correct? Yeah, and it's fine. It's just you know, it's never going to be this again. You know, because because Bungie left it. They they went on to do the the live service infinite grind destiny game and yeah, now three yeah. for three does this. Yeah, they they Microsoft like cobbled together a kind of a studio really really quickly to kind of handle it and uh, I don't know they they just, they've they've not fucked everything up necessarily. It's just like a lot of choices I just don't fully understand. But these are these are still some of the best I think even 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 with their Datedness. Well, you can tell me the choices. I want to know what they fuck up in the later ones. Uh, I mean, I feel like a big one was art direction. That was that was a pretty universal one. That that was a pretty universal thing that everybody kind of felt was just uh, it got a lot more. It got a lot more generic, and I don't even know necessarily how to quantify that with words. It's just kind of you look at screenshots and comparisons, and you just sort of notice there's just kind of like a lack of imagination or things look a little bit too um like what we thought the future would look like uh a long time ago whereas like this sort of feels this doesn't really feel like the future necessarily it's outside of like the aliens it, like being there like the tranks the, the, like the tanks are still on treads and you know cars are st like still use tires you know there's, there's not like hover cars and shit yeah, no, but, it's it's it, the they they go for like the gritty industrial military futurist look with the humans. Yeah, where everything's it's, pretty it's, blocky. It's it's more eighties like alien kind of Ridley Scott inspired, I guess. Like more industrial. Yeah, alien. Whereas the, the later the later the, ones the film get a little bit more having really good design that everyone loved. Yeah, exactly. And the, the later ones feel a little bit more like, you know, if you go into a lab 
in the later ones, it's like, you know, it's white walls and like everything's white and everything's sterile. And it's like, I, I get it, but it's, uh, I don't know. The feeling that I got, because I, I've never been a Halo fan, really, but, you know, everyone who plays video games heard about the 343 thing when it happened. Um, one of the main things that I know about the Switch over was that they introduced a new big universe ending bad with, like, these skull lads who want to exterminate all life in the universe or whatever. I don't know which game that was, but I saw the trailer that that reveal was made in, and I distinctly remember feeling like, um... Halo looking an awful lot like um, Mass Effect. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. It it started to look like that was four. That was that was the first three four three one. Okay, well then and, there you and, go. Yeah, yeah, and that's kind of it. Where it, it started to look like it just started to look like a bunch of other things. Uh, and that's not necessarily to say that you know Combat Evolved through three are are particularly you know they've they definitely borrow a lot from other sources but it, it i feel like i feel like most people even in just meme circles or just like on twitter you can you see an image of something from like those classic games and you kind of get it like you know where it's from like it, it has a very strong silhouette or, or there's like a very iconic simplicity to it oh um, it's super easy to pick out halo from other games why did i just do that why did i just jump off the edge um it's super easy to pick out halo from other games um at least the earlier yeah. halo games you know maybe, maybe not so much for the newer stuff um, also, I know they made Cortana evil at some point. That was a development that happened. I remember that. Yeah, I, this is this is this is a lot sadder. <laughs> this is a lot it's more depressing of a conversation that I was anticipating to have. But yes. oh yeah, no, I'm no, like, it's I'm fine. Like, no, I'm no, like yeah, I, I, I get, I completely <laughs> get it. Right? We've all seen this happen with franchises we care about. I, I totally understand. Um, I, I feel I, this is this is how I feel like whatever whatever like uh whatever um. Batman fans or, or, or like or like comic book fans talk about like ah this is what's happening with the MCU or whatever it's like it's terrible and I'm like ah calm down and then, and then this conversation happens and it's like I get it I understand I feel it I feel it in my heart yeah I'm trying to think if there's a series that I felt I think I felt that way about the Civilization series a lot more nerdy and niche but like Civ oh yeah totally yeah yeah Civ one through four it was the one fucking it was the one unit per tile rule. They they had a good thing going, and they were like, you know, we, we want more, like, more poppy, like, you know, distinct visual design, so we're going to have one tile per unit, and that's it. And it cut down a ton of strategy, and Civ Five sucked. And now, but they're never going back, so, like, I just have to live with it now, I guess. Yeah, that's that's kind of... You've reached acceptance, which is good. <laughs> I'm, st I'm, st I'm still climbing to acceptance. Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> on, on the plus side, you know, Halo does still have the small achievement of being maybe one of the most influential pieces of media, um, like, ever? Like, in terms of, true, yeah. yeah, game inspiration, Jesus Christ, it's, it, it, everything else has been shaped by it, so, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I think it's a little silly to, when, whenever people are like, oh, this, because the newer thing sucks, it ruins the older, I never really understood that. Like, if anything, it makes me appreciate the older ones a lot more. Because it's like, oh man, it must have been really hard to do this. I think you can um, do that narratively, apparently. maybe. Like with Game of Thrones, which made, like, because the ending made the whole series feel like a waste. But that's more of like a narrative thing. Whereas the first Halo games were kind of, you know, self-justifying. They weren't, it, they weren't all like predicated on the build-up, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Oh man, Game of Thrones, that's such a... You know what's wild? I remember people talking to me about... I, I still have never seen a single... <laughs> All right, that's not true. I've, I've saw the last episode of Game of Thrones, and that was it. That's the only piece of Game of Thrones media that I've ever that's witnessed. That's the only you. That's when you jumped in. <laughs> I'm not. So I heard, like, I was hearing about it for years. I was like, man, this this show is uh, apparently really good. But I'm really stubborn with that shit. Where like I I just if a show has gone on for a long time, I want to make sure that it's worth finishing before I jump into it. That is and insane. That is an insane thing to do. I really respect it. <laughs> I can't, I just can't, I can't sit there, because I, I did it with Better Call Saul, right? Where like, Better Call Saul, I was, because I loved Breaking Bad, and I, that was another one where I only got into it after, after like, the, the final season airing on AMC, and it's like, all right, I guess I'll watch it now. Um, but Better Call Saul, I was like, oh, I know that shit, I know Breaking Bad, I'll watch it from the beginning. And then season one happened, and then it was like another year and a half by the second season. And by the time the second season happened, I forgot, literally, like, I, I forgot everything. And so I was just like, oh, this is just going to keep happening, I'm just going to wait. 
Um, and that's what I did with Game of Thrones. And then I started hearing like, oh, this last season was kind of, uh. and I was like, oh, really? And then the and then the last season was so terrible. Apparently, I don't know. Um, that it just sort of ruined it for everybody. And I was like, well, I'm I'm glad I didn't fucking watch it then. I, I, I don't yeah, know. I, I, I actually got the best possible experience because I watched the first four seasons of um, of um, um, Game of Thrones, which were actually pretty great. And season five is when everyone agrees it took like a huge dip in quality, and I just never saw it. And then when the whole drama around the finale came out and everyone was like, yeah, if you just stopped watching around season four, that's like the best possible experience you could have gotten. I was just like, oh, great, nice. That worked out in my favor. <laughs> um, the last thing I remember was, what was it? Oberyn Martell getting squashed like a tomato. That's the last thing I remember. Everything after that, I think, I think it was downhill from there. Yeah, I, I, I guess. I don't know who any of those people are. But well, uh... Oberyn Martell, <laughs> Oberyn Martell could get some, okay? He was, um... Uh, he could fuck, so he was a good character, you know, when when he was around. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never, I don't know, I, I just, I think also I'm just kind of, at that point in time, I think I was a little bit burned out of fantasy stuff. I'm not sure why. I think I was just like playing a lot of, I think I was like playing a lot of uh, fantasy like video games and shit, and like by the time a show came out, I was like, ah, eh, I'll just play this. I, I'm, I'm set. fucking overburnt. Man, it's like the comic book industry, right? Where, like, every movie now is superheroes. Everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's like all the nerds got made fun of up through the 80s and up. So now that they're in charge, um, or at least now that they're, a, you know, a, a monetizable demographic, um, it's all, it's everything. Everything is sci-fi. Everything is fantasy. Everything is superheroes. And that's it, you know? There's, I, I honestly think this is part of the reason why, um, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul not only were really good, but also remembered so fondly. It's because it's one of the few culturally relevant pieces of media we can pull from the recent past that aren't fucking sci-fi fantasy or superheroes and are therefore yeah. like distinct in our minds, you know? Yeah, no, exactly. I think that's a, a huge reason, a huge reason why, because I, I, I have these, because I know a lot of people who are like really you know, and I, I used to watch the Marvel movies. I, I was in, into it for at least up until Endgame, where I was like, okay, this has a conclusion. Now I'm I'm set. That was a cool little, uh, that was a cool little like cinematic ex, uh, experiment that they did there, and that was neat. Um, and I just I can't get into them anymore, and I think it is just an oversaturation issue. And it's like, I've had people be like, oh, you just don't. It's almost like people assume a pretentiousness about it, where it's like, oh, you just because something isn't like heady doesn't mean it's not. Uh, great, or just because something's about superheroes doesn't mean it's, and it's not necessarily about that. It's more like, like I loved, I, I saw Bullet Train recently and I thought it was dope. Mm -hmm. And that's a ridiculous fucking movie, but it's also not like, I don't know, it's not a superhero movie, you know what I mean? It's just, it's dumb, fun action, but it's not predicated on these like, like overwrought IP. No, yeah. You know? and, and, and well, I, I stopped watching Marvel movies after Endgame because. I felt like they did it. I mean, the entire thing, all the way back from like Iron Man 1, or at least Avengers 1, was all building to Thanos. So then Thanos happened and, you know, cool. Like, it, I mean, it was it was all like designed by committee shit, right? Like it was never artistically daring or, or in that way, but they were fun to watch and impressive for their scope. And like, it, that's it, it's, it's done, you know? Um, yeah. I, I don't know what they can pull out of their hat next that could even, Hair, really as like a broad MCU capper I mean what do you what do you have like Galactus they're not gonna do fucking Galactus that's stupid you can't even fight him he's too big um I I, have, I genuinely have I have I have no idea um but it's it's frustrating too because now it feels like every piece of media has to be horned into that it's the same with the Star Wars shit um I'm I'm really bored of Star Wars spinoffs they say Andor is good they said Mandalorian was good I I'm t it's it's like everything now, you know. It's all yeah. Disney. There's no escape. It, it, yeah, I, Star Wars. I it's weird. I I didn't. I, I I always. Maybe this is just me because I feel like I get introduced to things like way late. Like uh, I didn't watch. Like I didn't watch Lord of the Rings until like maybe like the mid 2010s. I didn't watch Star Wars until I didn't watch any of any Star Wars movie until like 2017. What? Yeah, I avoided it. I avoided it entirely. Who, I don't know how. how no, how? How? 
<laughs> you know at what it no is? point? No, well, at no point did I have friends who were like super into it to drag me to it. And I, well, I guess there were like video games like like KOTOR and stuff. And, and uh, I played the video games, right? Yeah. But, but as a cinematic universe, like I, I had already kind of, I don't know, by the time I was old enough to care about that stuff, I think I had experienced like Mass Effect and 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 halo and 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 like firefly and like i I was kind of set on on sci-fi for a while and i just didn't feel the need to go exploring in it um and i kind of i'm i'm kind of glad not necessarily that like because i I watch them later and i I do like the originals and I, i i even think the the prequels aren't necessarily horrendous but I don't know. It it, it it's kind of it kind of goes back to the the Halo thing where it's like I I'm glad I only have one one thing that I had to watch get exponentially worse uh, as opposed to having like several of these as opposed to literally everything you enjoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because everything has to be franchised now, right? The original um, Lord of the Rings movies were were really really good, and I hear the books are good. I haven't read them, but I mean they're one of the most popular pieces of literature and history so i have to assume they're decent um and then the movie trilogy was great uh but the hobbit series fucking sucked like i think oh my god (laughs) yeah like yeah 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 really bad and now they have the tv show which i know it's like a culture war thing where like the far right or or conservatives are going to scream because there's like a black chick or whatever and then because the far right is doing that the left is going to be like actually it's better than you think but I've seen it at least. Oh my god, no! This is exactly what happens. I, I'm, I'm so tired. Like every time I like, there are times where I'm watching, like older television shows or like older movies, and I, I'll notice something, and I'm like, oh man, if if this if this came out today, there would be a whole stink about it, because this female character is like showing up the male hero, or or some other random trope that's been around for fucking eons. Um, yeah, and, God, and, like. And, Avatar The Last Airbender is a huge one. The first... Have you ever seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Oh, yes, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. it's the first episode. The first lines, almost, are are Sokka getting chewed out by Katara for being a sexist. And a bunch of the episodes are, like, essentially, like, liberal to left liberal talking points, like, hashed through the show. Like, they would have torn it to shreds if this had been, like, a post-Gamergate thing, but it was before Gamergate, so... Now the right kind of looks at that and they're like, ah, well, that's different. Yeah, it, it, is, it, it doesn't. It, it's like, oh, is, is it? You know, it's 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 very exhausting to like criticize media now in, in a way that it didn't used to be. Like, I feel like it used to be a little bit more predicated on the actual. I mean, obviously, there's always opinions. Nothing's objective. Like, no criticism is necessarily objective in here. But. I feel like it, it had a little bit more standing in, like, reality, whereas, like, now it, it it's always, like, everything new that comes out is always under the lens of this fictional, like, this entire, this entirely nonsensical fight between things, like, I, I just, oh, man, I'm getting frustrated. No, I, com- getting no, 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 I completely agree. It's all culture war shit now. There's very little... The only, like, real analysis you can get for media consumption anymore is in stuff that's not popular enough to catch the public eye. Because outside of that, there are a million factions. And I know there always have been, but, like, man, fuck. It's like, like, MCU people are like K-Hive on Twitter. Um, they get really mad at the idea that, M- that like, the MCU is, like, a, a cultural, artistic black hole. Um, the right gets angry literally anytime anything happens, no matter what. I get, like... The, the, what media do they even like? I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> and, and and like the left, and the, and then on like reciprocally, to be fair, like with the left too. It's I don't know how often I'm hearing about shows that are good, and how often I'm hearing about shows that are woke. Like with Andor, for example, people keep saying it's good. Is it? I don't know because I know that Andor has left-leaning political themes, which means that when people in my chat say no, no, no Andor is really good, I don't know if they mean that the quality of the show is high. Or if they mean that there are people who say "fuck the police" in Andor, I don't know, and I can yeah. never trust them. No, I, I, that's exactly. I, I think people like more than ever to be kind of cheerleaded to, if that makes sense. Like, I, I feel like people like now more than they used to the idea that they're that the media that they like is reflecting their own opinions back at them in, in some way or another. Where I feel like it used to be a little bit more. 
Um, you know, I, I think about Bioshock a lot, right? Because Bioshock is is I don't know if you've ever played Bioshock. Oh, but I fuck, I love Bioshock. Yeah. Bioshock is is one of my favorite games ever. I have a tattoo. I have a Bioshock tattoo. I love Bioshock. Oh, don't, oh um, what? It's it's just the, the 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 chain link on the wrist. It's it's uh, the 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 wrist tattoo that Jack has uh, throughout the whole game. No, the the legit like beyond even like the libertarian critiques or whatever the um the original bioshock is like a fucking masterpiece of storytelling dude um so no, yeah, many it's... other games have tried to hit that beat and and flopped completely yeah no there there are so many there's they're, they're working on a bioshock movie too by the way which is fucking i, yeah, I, I have no i can't wait uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a game that literally can't be a movie like the whole like all the, the whole power point. yeah you, yeah, it, it's very dumb, but you know, th but that's a game that's like obviously that that's very rooted in, you know, the a Ayn Rand. Like it's very rooted in the philosophy of Atlas Shrugged, and you know, it's not even necessarily like you you could delve into that game in a lot of ways. You could you could kind of you could have a lot of conversations about what it's trying to say, like what it means, and it's not necessarily just. Y y there's no character in Bioshock that is clearly meant to be like the good guy explaining to you what you should agree with as well. You know what I mean? Like it's it's very much like here's a world rooted in this philosophy and let's see how that plays out to the absolute like extreme and let's have fun with that. Yeah, I agree. And and one of the things that really gets left behind in like the analysis I think is that um the game is broadly critical of Ayn Rand. That's like the the through line, you know. But there's a lot of other shit that hits there, like the great man theory of social analysis and the idea of like, um, uh, like, like a neat, sort of a Nietzschean Ubermensch, like supremacy, the idea of like the greatest people in society have to be given the room to succeed and everyone else is just like meant to be a foundation to support them. And there are, there is like, you know, some given, some taken there, right? Because to be fair, Rapture is objectively technologically superior to every other part of the world at the time you arrive there. Um, right. They did accomplish a lot. Obviously, they did it in a super fucked up way, but, like, the, the question is, like, the thing that I like about it is, even given what they were able to do, l like, was it worth it, you know? And I think most people will come away from that thinking, like, ab fucking no, absolutely not, it wasn't. Yeah, Which, yeah, of right, course. But they give the hand, you know? They, it, it, they give the hand. And this is one of the things that fucks me up a little bit about Bioshock Infinite, where... The, the society they portray, you know, America in the clouds or whatever, there's not as much ambiguity because the only ideological through line they're criticizing there is like white supremacy, which isn't even tied to how they were able to build the city in the clouds. Like there's no relationship there. It wasn't even like, oh, they were able to do all this with slavery. They just did it and also are racist, which is like, <laughs> so could, yeah. if you just removed the racism, would they have been the utopia then? Right? It's like, so what's the lesson, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, Bioshock Infinite's a weird one. I, I love Bioshock Infinite for a lot of reasons, but I do agree that it's, it, uh, thematically speaking, it's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little, a, a lot, a lot more flimsy than the original Bioshock for sure. Great to play um, though. Fuck, that game's fun to play. Holy shit. I, I feel like the only person who thinks that. It, it feels every, every time great. I talk about like every time I talk about the game, people are like, "That game sucks," and I'm like, "Have you not like jumped off the skyhook and like landed a punch into someone's face and then telekinesis them off a brick building?" Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like people are just bad at, at at games to be honest. As a as a game, it's like it's it's stellar. Um, in in terms yeah. of just purely like like mechanically. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to say before I like totally ramble off. It's just that the way everything has to be made into a franchise now, you know. The other big kicker for that is that it's like the quality drop-off feels so much more harsh. Like, with that Lord of the Rings show, which I haven't seen, you know, I don't know if it's good or bad or whatever, but in order for a Lord of the Rings show to look good next to the trilogy, it has to be amazing. Oh, um, yeah. So even if it's good, it's not good. Um, and it makes everything look so much, like, harsher in comparison, and it really stifles new IPs that could, I don't know, maybe have done a lot better without the burden of that association oh yeah no i, I there this happens a lot in 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 in, in video games and in, in movies and television where like a script will come to a producer's desk and they'll be like this is a great script how can we put daredevil in it yeah exactly Here's, like, we're spider-man yeah no for real like this this happens like a t like the, the mostly the the 
the example, or the most recent example that I know a lot about is, uh, are you familiar with the uh, the game Prey at yeah, all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, so I'm sure you probably know, but like that game has nothing to do with the original Prey, <laughs> like at, at all. Like Prey was a 2006 game that had, that was about like Native Americans and portals. It was weird. But they um, had to, yeah, they had to slap, like, oh yeah, the great game idea you have there, you know. Let me let's just search through the archive of IPs we own, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, yeah, it, it was literally just like this is great, uh, but uh, we this can't be an original IP. We need to attach it to a name, and and the one they had was was Prey, and it has nothing to do with Prey. Prey is never mentioned. There's no connection. It's literally just the name because no one would have paid attention to it, and. The problem that arises from that is people who wanted more prey got a game that wasn't prey and therefore hated it, and people who would have been interested in something else didn't care because it was prey. Uh, which, which is really annoying because Prey 2017 rocked. I, that game fucking was yo, I, so I, good. I, I, I played that recently because um, I tried it when it first came out and it didn't. It didn't. I, I don't know. It didn't. Have you ever have you ever played a game and you're just like, oh, this isn't working, and then you come back to it and you're like, this is amazing? First time I played Deus Ex? Yeah, first time I just didn't get it. I was like, why the fuck am I booming out right now? And then yeah. a couple years later I came back and I was like, whoa, wait, what? Wait, wait hello? And <laughs> that, I, that I just okay. enjoyed the best game, you know? Yeah, no, exactly. That's exactly what happened to me with Prey. I, pl I tried it and I was like, this is, I don't know. I think I was trying to play it like it was like a Fallout adjacent game, and I just like, ah, uh, this isn't. I'm not getting it. And then somebody was like, hey, there's a System Shock demo out or something. And I played that and it, it suddenly like clicked. It's like, oh, this is, oh, Prey is a System it's Shock system, game. Yeah, they made System Shock. Yeah. And then once I understood that and played it, it was like so much, I was like so much more into it. It's crazy. And it, it, it sucks that, that that's, that's like an all time fucking fantastic game, Prey 2017. And it sucks that it's it's hampered by that name or it didn't get a fair shot because that name, if that was if that was called like I don't know something shock I don't know if they have the rights so, to be like able to Psycho do that like Psychoshock or something yeah Psychoshock like that would have been a fucking huge game I think God if they could have gotten if if that team had been able to knock it with System Shock three if they'd been given the go ahead with that label holy fuck that could have been like not to say everything has to be franchised like we were talking about just saying like. I feel like in that instance, they could have done it, you know? Yeah, well, well, the thing about Shock is it's not even like a... It, it, shock is like a genre at this point, you know what I mean? It's like, like immersive sims. Yeah, like Bioshock. Are, you know, it's not a direct sequel. Yeah, but... Oh, man, what a good... What a good fucking title. Have you played the original uh, System Shock games? Um, I try. So that's one of the reasons why I got into Prey was like I was playing the... I think there was a, re there was a demo for... System Shock 1 remake, yeah. System Shock One remake, and I played that, and I thought it was cool. Like I liked it. I was like, "Oh, this is this is." I like the art style. I like the inventory management. I like how this is set up. This is interesting. Um, but I haven't gone back and and played the the older ones in the in their original form to completion because they're 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 kind of they're really old. They're real, yeah, and, and their control the controls <laughs> the controls are wild. Uh, on a modern on a modern setup to say the least i'm waiting for the remake and i i think it will probably be pretty decent um uh but i'm waiting for that just to have a simpler way to play it you know yeah no for sure um the um the um oh god sorry i'm getting strafed oh fuck the um uh the second system shock game i i still think feels pretty good if you get the right port for it um like off gog or whatever i i played it recently and once you rebind the controls um, I think it, <laughs> I think it plays pretty yeah. well because it came out about the same time as Halo One did. So you're you're talking like comparable, you know, attitude. Oh yeah, no, it's it's literally all in the the port and the controls, yeah. which I, I'm just I'm so lazy with like I, I don't even really, I don't even really rebind controls when I'm, when I play games generally like i'm just like all right they designed it this way i'll try it i'll try it this way as opposed um, to the games where that were back in the day when a and d would turn rather than strafe and it, you'd like throw up in your mouth the yeah that, that's load. different yeah <laughs> that's, that's objectively incorrect that uh, but that but that at that point like that to me is like you've gotten this so wrong that i'm probably just gonna wait for someone to fix this yeah the um oh god man the the controls for system shock one which like i don't know if you've seen what it looks like on a like in a youtube video but system shock one looked like a graphing calculator it was so <laughs> old 
And yeah, you can play it on a Tamagotchi. It's fucking yeah. it's, it's it's wild. It, it's and the controls it's like every button on the keyboard is bound to something and you have it's I swear to god, it genuinely plays more like a typing tutorial. You got to use you got to stretch your fingers to reach every fucking part of that keyboard to be able to play that game. Um yeah, I hope the remake's a lot more accessible. I guess it I guess it will be from from what I've seen cuz the original was pretty janky in that way. Yeah, no. I, I mean from the demo that I played, I, I I thought it was it was pretty solid. It's got a really cool style to it as well. Yeah, very but I'm, also, but I'm also not necessarily. Yeah, it's very synth. Um it's it's not necessarily unique, but it's also like a remake of an old game that kind of had a hand in creating that. So I I don't necessarily mind it. Um yeah. I wonder do you know of any games that have basically done Halo but aren't Halo? Like in the way that you like, I mean the the the, the original stuff. Uh, no, it, it's really difficult to find a, a compare. There there are games recently like that that get multiplayer kind of close. There's there's that that game uh, Splitgate that was advertised as like kind of Halo and Portal kind of put together. The one where you'd like you can like do trick shots by putting a portal on a wall and and shoot. Yeah, through. yeah, that that was yeah. that was kind of cool. But it, Halo is such a unique beast because it's 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 like a really i don't know it's like a really fun story that at, at, a, at one point specifically in the middle gets like unnecessarily complex and, and really cool um with a like fantastic soundtrack with you know first person and vehicle sandbox elements and there's like a, a bunch of weird physics that you can take advantage of and getting all of those together in one kind of cocktail is is really not easy i guess because it just hasn't really been done in the same in the same way oh you just got <laughs> i got cut the thing <laughs> that, that a needler explosion the thing that gets me from what i'm playing now again super not a halo expert but it feels like it feels like something that makes this game really cool has been kind of like iterated on and bastardized in a lot of modern games which is the like enemy stronghold like you'll 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 there'll be a big open map that you can drive around in and then there will be a cluster of buildings and that's your target um and then you'll go over there and it, you know you'll do a thing there and enemies will come at you and i think the problem is that what i'm playing right now that feels like cool and interesting but i've played a thousand ubisoft games that have been really boring and i don't know what the difference is between how they do it and how this game <clears throat> does it you know yeah, I I don't know. It's, it, this is definitely the most open one because when they were originally making this, it was originally supposed to be an RTS. So the maps really? are very, very yeah, yeah. It was it was it was conceptualized as like a sequel to Myth, which was uh, really one of Bungie's older oh. um o older RTSs, and then they kind of like iterated on it, and then they made it a third person shooter, and then they made it a first person shooter, a little bit closer towards. The end, and that's why this, that's why this one's designed so differently, and and the, and the play spaces are so big, um, in, even in comparison to later games, which I think, I think like two and three are better, um, but they, you know, this one definitely has the scale and the openness kind of locked in in a way that's very different from modern games, and I, I, in the same way that Elden Ring kind of nailed it too, where it's like there's a scale, but it's not, it's not obfuscated by very video gamey elements yeah you know, it doesn't, you have, it doesn't you, you have pull your you out of the it, yeah it, it, it doesn't it doesn't pull you out of that like innate immersion of the dark souls games where you just get get plopped at the at the base of like fuck mountain and you just look around and and, and see all the towers you're going to die in later you know yeah no definitely that, it's what, uh then what makes a good weird. halo game to you uh i think I think a sense of scale is cool. There, there, are, there are ways. So scale, uh, an expressive physics system, and a good, um, and a sandbox that flexes more than just damage. Because I feel like a lot of video games, like you, you'll play a game where it's like, okay, here's a weapon, and this is a better weapon because it does damage, and it does, uh, and this is a better one because it does more damage. But in, in Halo, specifically two and three, there are weapons that, you know. This weapon is it, it when you get the energy sword in Halo 2 or whatever. That thing has such a ridiculous lunge or range on it that it basically kind of becomes a grappling hook. Or there's like a weapon in Halo 3 where it's a grenade launcher but if you shoot it at your feet you can jump really high. So there's like 
a flexibility to weapons beyond just what they can do to an enemy um that makes it really cool and obviously the physics of vehicles crashing into each other and exploding in midair and... grenades setting ragdolls flying which, which is yeah. pretty funny the games are funny they're not that you can serious. no no they're yeah there's a there's a tone there that's like a mix of it's it's serious but it's not it's not super like dire it's not the fucking last of us <laughs> yeah um... no that, that would be a touch fucking with, with with Ellie and then a grunt runs around with the yeah that'd be a hard that'd be a hard sell, um, but but I, yeah j j there are little things that I'm still learning about this game still because the physics sandbox is so fucking weird and robust. Like if you throw a I, I don't know if it's necessarily in the first game, but once it gets into two and three, you'll start to notice it. Where like you know if you throw a plasma grenade on the ground and then you throw another grenade over it, the the explosion of the plasma grenade will will bounce the grenade further away and then it'll also kind of set it off uh, it, it and, does those in sequence like you'll get like a chain like two shot there that's really cool yeah yeah but it's not it's not it's not necessarily a mechanic it's just a consequence of of the physics so it's not like it's not like you have to press a button at a specific time it's just you literally just have to time the way that these physics elements interact in a clever way and, it, and the game will reward you for it and there's there's so many things like that. Like, I think even in this game, uh, if you drive the ghost and you hold, uh, well, actually, I, I guess if you hold space, because you're playing on mouse and keyboard, right? I am, yes. This game, does, this this area does not look too bad in the remaster, I think. Th this is one of the better areas that I've seen with the remaster. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. I just, I hit tab accidentally because I've been playing Doom. I wanted to open the map. Which <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 cool. I, I, I agree largely with the a lot of the, complaints about the remaster. I think it's serviceable in some places, but I, th I think it's pretty fucking ugly most of the time. The lighting is what kicks it for me. It, the lighting feels pretty real in the original. It's like there's a light over there, so the light comes from the wall, but then if you take a look at the remaster, surfaces just seem to be innately lit. It's like um, a soundstage. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's it really is. fucking weird. Check out all these polygons, yo, and they put everything up front, which they love doing with modern games. They don't, because, you know, like, they're terrified that somebody might miss a lot of expensive hard work. So it's like, they, they yeah. can't you know, risk you missing it. I, I, I like what you said about all of the games having their own, or sorry, all these weapons in the games having, like, their own expression um, and, and use outside of just damage. I like the enemy AI to that as well, because I feel like everyone knows the example of, like, you throw a grenade on a grunt and it runs back to the elite and, and gets them both. Like, that, I, I, that's a yeah. pretty, like, well-known interaction. But there's a lot of little things like that that require so much more thought than your standard, like, shoot the heads as they pop up behind cover thing that I'm really starting to appreciate now, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, and in, like, um, in the later games, if you see, like, dropships flying overhead you, and you have a tank, you can you can shoot them down and, and that'll result in, like, less for you to fight later. And, and like just really little really little things that kind of add up to being like this is a fun game to fuck around and find like to just play with from a from a pure game standpoint oh, yeah, um, absolutely oh apparently um everything has been called now warnock has officially won um in um in georgia for the senate uh runoff oh shit yeah, I hate that it had to be this close, but it got called earlier than I expected. I was actually thinking it'd be a bit closer, so that's good. How close was it? Uh, I think I think it's going to be a 51 to 49 margin, um, but winning by two points is not so bad, you know? I mean, more than a half percentage point is, is good, I guess. Uh, right now it's at 1.2, but it might end up being more by the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> People are like, he doesn't know who that is. I know who Warnock is. I'm not I'm not that detached <laughs> from from politics. Oh god, but what a what a delight it would be to be, huh? Um geez. Oh yeah. I, I actually recently just I, I I've been living uh, in in a pretty good state of bliss uh lately. But I uh, I think in the last like two months I've been I've been paying more attention and it's just like oh man. Yeah. I I remember I remember why I stopped, to be to be honest with you. Difficult not <laughs> just, to. It's it's a lot yeah. like modern media, right? Or like like trying to a TV show or a video game is good or bad or whatever. In that it subsumes absolutely everything, you know. Like before before you know it, you're eating like a particular kind of breakfast cereal because on Twitter the guy who owns that food company said that your preferred candidate was red pilled, and and, and you're like ah yes I I love owning the libs 
with my with my Weetabix or whatever, and and it just becomes your entire life. It's so wild that people will do things that literally only negatively affect them because of a false perception that other people care. It's like the Goya bean shit. Did you did you, did you follow any of that? Do you remember that the Goya bean? I shit? I, I do. I I am Hispanic, so I do very much remember. Oh <laughs> remember. my god! Uh, <laughs> uh, owning the libs with my now, my emergency like bunker filled with Goya beans. God. Yeah, and, and you know they never fucking bought Goya beans, before, but. It, yeah, that was a weird one because I remember being like, ah, oh, man, that sucks. Definitely still uh, getting those beans, though, because they're really pretty fucking solid. I'm, always, I, I'm an S&W man, personally, with my beans. That's fair. I, it's definitely a culture. I'm just like so like my family has always used like Goya fucking every like adobo and sasson. It's like very, very Caribbean, Puerto Rican um, seasonings and, and, and ingredients that I just I I could, I guess, swap, but it would just. Look, I'm not a, I'm not a natural cook. I got to go I got to go where I can. All right? And I my muscle memory is where I go. Yeah. And I'm not going to I'm not going to mix it up too much. Also, like the the liberal consumerist obsession with boycotting as a means of expressing moral virtue is really fucking tiring. You know, like It's 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 fucking insane because there's so little that you would be able to do if you were trying to live a completely ethical life. Like you, th you would not be playing video games because your PCs or consoles would be sourced in fucking, you know, <laughs> Prison factories in China. There's all there's all sorts of shit that you wouldn't be able to take part in if you were consistently like, you know, uh, just like really really morally um, uh, committed to this idea that like okay, well, I won't do this anymore, even though there's no real reason not to. Like, do you really think that you not buying a beans? <laughs> is gonna really do anything good luck avoiding are... nestle you know when, yeah, when you're yeah. at the, the the grocery store well, well also there's just like i feel like boycotting is a very i i get it from like a from like a personal standpoint i guess if you if if you know i i do that with certain things i suppose but like snk like you know are you familiar with snk the uh, uh so no they make um so, so they make um they're a developer they make uh the King, I think it's King of Fighters games. They also make uh, Metal Slug. Oh, uh, well, I know. I certainly know Metal Slug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they were recently purchased by the Saudi royal family. <laughs> like, <I'm... laughs> oh, that's and, fun. And I love Metal Slug, but that's that is one of those things where it's like, uh, I, I don't know about. I don't know if I would feel necessarily all that comfortable buying a game if I knew that the money was going directly to people who, you know, murder journalists. Yeah, you know? no, that I, I think it's it's totally okay to do that. The weird thing to me is when people start getting really demanding about others doing it. Because right, in, there's, right. we're always right on one thing and wrong on like 599 when it comes to this. And it's it, like, there's, I don't, I don't know how well anyone can live like that on like an applicable scale. It's good to do what you can, you know, but like at the end of the day, the most you could do wouldn't be like boycotting. It would be probably supporting politicians that would restrict right. the kind of behaviors that you would take issue with, you know? No, exactly. And, and the other, well, the thing I was, I was going to say before I sidetracked my fucking self was uh, just the idea that I feel like boycotting a as a premise is a very it's a very antiquated kind of notion because it it, it operates under the assumption that the, like a lot of the companies and corporations that are being boycotted aren't massive global conglomerates you know like i i don't know how much you are like if your store was being boycotted in like the 1940s because you were like you were doing some shady shit and then the town just didn't want to support you anymore that was you were pretty much fucked because it was it was that store in that right. location yeah like yeah, the, but, but, the montgomery uh the bus the bus boycotts back in the south under were the uh, civil rights protests like it was like those specific areas you know you can do something there right exactly but like with walmart like what do you like i i i, I do... like the, the assumption that it does damage is is a very bizarre one like i understand if you like ethically like like i said like it makes perfect sense why you would ethically not want to support certain things but the insistence that it's 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 this in, insanely like effective means of 
of hurting whatever it is you're trying to hurt. I, I just don't, I don't know if I really buy that in the age that we live in. Well, I think it's an effective means for some people of feeling good about themselves. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot like recycling in the sense that it's good to do if you can. <laughs> well, no, it's, Dude, good, it's good to do no. if you can, but you, you don't want to be the kind of person where, like, because you've done that, you think like, okay, I can stop thinking about this now because I'm right, on the good right. side. Well, I, I laugh because I, I remember, because I, I, obviously I live in LA, um, and... Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's so sad. But I, I remember specifically, I was, because I, I worked in Santa Monica for a little bit. And I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, <laughs> all, it, <laughs> it's a tragedy. Um, but I, I would remember seeing like these trash cans that would have like, it, it would be like a normal cylinder, but there would be a divider in the middle and it would be like kind of like a, a, a semicircle hole on either side and it would, be, it would be trash and recycling. And I remember thinking like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I would look in and it's, there's no divider it's in one, the can. It's one can, yeah. It's it's literally just one hole that you're just just throwing everything into. And it's just like, are you, this is fucking astounding. It's a, it's a, that's offensive right there. That's like deeply morally wrong. Just, just <laughs> not even for the like fake recycling thing, but just like the audacity of being that um, forward about it is hurtful. Yeah, it's really, it's really abrasive, uh, and really like, it's it's really brazen, is what it is. Yeah, no, exactly. I guess it shows like how little it takes to hide some people over when it comes to shit like that. Um, anyway, as long as they don't get super self satisfied, that's the main issue. I guess. Like, if, if somebody wants to boycott or, or, or go vegan or. Or, or recycle. I think that's great, you know. It's just... 100%. Yeah, they have to be able after that to go like, yeah, but I know it's all, like, one company and nothing's gonna change unless we also do this yeah. and that. Yeah, no, I... I the, the vegan thing is... I, I wish I could do that. I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I do acknowledge, I do feel like it's definitely the right thing. Like, I don't know if I could really argue with a vegan on, like, the morality of it. Because it's it seems pretty staunchly... <laughs> It seems pretty fucking stacked, like one-sided, as far as like what's the more moral way to live. It's a but clean also, cell ethically, yeah. It, it's a pretty clean cell ethically. However, bacon, or you know, like I, I've had, I've had vegan pizza, and I, I will never do that again. Some vegan food has gotten a lot better. For for me, I think the main thing for me is like availability, right? Like right now, I just don't think I could go vegan. But if I could snap my fingers and get rid of all animal production, like magically, just like replace all those industries with solar farms or whatever, um, I think in the new world where there's no way to not be vegan, I would be just as happy as I am now or happier. Probably a lot healthier too. The problem is like with it being around, you know? It's 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 about how, how well the world accommodates you, you know? Like we need cars to get around in America. Most people do at least. But if you had a world with no cars, it wouldn't just be the same world where everyone's Without, forced to use yeah. a bike. They would build the world with the bike in mind. They would build the I, world I, with... Yeah, yeah. No, I, I was tweeting about this recently, and I caught some shit for it because I was I was just complaining. I was just talking about how fucked uh, certain infrastructure is and, and how, like, I hate the... I, I resent the fact that so many cities across this country are, are built with the implication that everybody has a car, everybody needs a car... Um, and I, I, I found these like Twitter accounts that like kind of document like older cities and like how they used oh, to look like yeah. and how they look like now. Suicide and it's like, fuel. it's just all, it's just all fucking highways and it's, it's so depressing. It's, I, I it's, don't know. No, I, it's, it's, it's really funny you say that. Cause just the other day, um, I was going over some Google street view shit to show like, well, my grandparents live in Florida. Right. And it's it, it, like suburban areas that are so car dependent there's not even a sidewalk like it's you just have to walk on asphalt if you want to walk which why would you and there were europeans in chat i assume they're europeans and they're like well what do you what do you do if you don't have a car and the only answer to that is you get one that's it you don't there there isn't an if you you don't there's yeah, not a yeah. second option there are no buses that run there you have a car or you don't go anywhere and and that's it that's what you get it is it, it really is insane like it, it, it's because i'm like I grew up in New York, so like when I was a kid, I just sort of lived in a very, very walkable place. Or, or if I, or if it wasn't walkable, there was always a bus or a train uh, that would take you wherever you needed to go. 
And growing up, that was just kind of my assumption of like, oh, that's what a city is. Like, I thought that was the difference between the city and the country was cities have great public transit and infrastructure. <laughs> and and the, this and like <laughs> the outskirts is where you go and, and you, everybody's everybody has a truck and there's like nothing. Uh, and then I moved to Los Angeles and I was like, what? <laughs> there's no nothing. there's no public transit at all. Like I moved out here, fortunately, around the time that uh, Uber was a thing. So like. That that was really convenient for me, I guess. But, like, God, like, what did people do before Uber? Like, what the they fuck did, did people do in Los Angeles before Uber? You, uh, people would call taxis at, at exorbitant cost, and that was it. I, 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 it was. I grew up in LA. I right? grew up in, in Beverly Hills, um, and and back then they hadn't even remodeled the the bus lines that run along Olympic and Wilshire and a few others like Pico. Back, yeah, yeah. back then it was even worse than it is now there are huge parts of la where it, it is literally like if you don't have a car you you might you might as well be living in a cloud city without a helicopter or a plane you know it, it, yeah. it is as inaccessible no i know people are saying taxis but it's like have you look man taxis are not like in new york obviously taxis are huge and like they're, they're kind of everywhere but i think i don't know just the idea of like calling a taxi like every single time and just having like this i don't know it just no, seems it's not like viable. a lot you can hail a taxi in new york there's nowhere to hail a taxi in la you call one and right. give them an address and wait there and it's very expensive it's there's just no a shitty it's just, it's just a worse uber so like <laughs> I, yeah i don't i don't know it's 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 really frustrating to me uh because I, I like i i have a car and i i like it but i also resent the fact that i need it like i i would gladly get rid of it if it wasn't so fucking astoundingly necessary yeah and there's there's just nothing yeah no no i mean i yeah <laughs> i completely agree I, I i grew up in la you know i mean my, my folks would drive me places if i needed to go somewhere but the idea of that being a necessary thing is insane to begin with because la is one of the like largest population centers on the planet the idea of oh we need to get somewhere we need a car is insane you should be able to go outside and trip on something to do out there but no you you can't um yeah it's there, just there's so many fucking people like yeah. when i looked up I, I was i was recently just out of sheer curiosity like, looking up like populations uh of uh different like cities and, and states and shit and i can't remember exactly what la's was but it was like in this it's definitely several million and i looked up out of curiosity, like Wyoming, and I think it's like 500,000 people in the entire state. Yeah, LA County has 13 million people in it. Um, it's one of the yeah. largest urban centers or, or, or urban uh, areas, sprawls. I don't know what the technical term is. Um, in the world, the city itself, I think, is about 3 million, but it, 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 everything extends past the city borders. So yeah. No one counts it. And the mayor, you know, has control anyway. But, but and, and you know, if you want to get anywhere, you'd either be... You better be ready to walk like a mile in any direction. Um, yeah, or... I've, 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 I've done it. I, I've walked like, I, I mean, I, I'm used to walking pretty, pretty far, but it sucks to walk I don't know. in LA though. Yeah, LA is a different kind of like, it's one thing in New York where there's like constantly something like that you could, oh, okay, we're, like we're walking. It, it's not like you're walking through a purely residential place for fucking miles. Or, or they're a place where there's like no gas stations or convenience shops anywhere. Yeah, yeah. At least in like a real city like New York and parts of Seattle, which is one of the reasons I like it. Seattle is Seattle is the only other place that I've been to that feels like a little bit that feels more like a like a proper city. Thank you, I feel the same way. Not as dense as New York by far, but definitely a step in the right direction from what I grew up in. Uh, yeah, I mean it's definitely what I don't know. I, I feel like it, it's it's generally what. A city should be as far as like obviously not like culturally like that could be whatever the fuck or food wise like that it, it, but i i do think public transit is a kind of an obvious fucking thing to focus on when you're building a fucking city yeah um, it's i mean i don't know how much of it is like direct collusion with car manufacturers and how much of it is just like the infrastructure version of capitalist realism where you elect politicians and they like yeah. actually can't fathom an alternative i i think that's one of the big issues because all of the like city councilors in a place like los angeles 
are these 80 year olds that are independently wealthy that drive into the city. Oh yeah, for, yeah. Like for, for fun, but they live in the suburbs. So to them, like car culture shit is just fully the norm and they can't fathom anything else. <laughs> yeah, no, you're totally right. New York culture unmatched. Hey, man, you guys are getting a taste of it now with all this uh, <laughs> this Kanye West stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been the, the, great. The, Thanks. I, I, <laughs> the, the, that that uh, what is it? The the uh, the oh man, what do they call the Black Israelites or whatever? Yeah, yeah, Black Hebrew Hebrew. Hebrew that I that sh I remember seeing that when I was a kid, like just randomly, like in train stations and shit. And I remember being like. Dad, what's that? And Dad would be like, I have no fucking idea. No fucking idea what they're going on about, son. <laughs> and so, like, now it's like, uh, now it's explode. Now it's, I've seen it on, I've seen it on Twitter now for the first time, really. Like, I, I, like, I would see sparks of it from, like, people from back home. But now that it's actually, like, exploding, it's, it's kind of, I'm very curious as to how, how that's going to be received. Yeah, the really frustrating thing is, th those guys are kind of basically Nazis. Um, oh yeah. The really the frustrating thing is that white liberals are terrible at criticizing anything that's phrased as progressivism. So all a black Hebrew Israelite has to do is like we are freeing ourselves from their colonizing force as we you know take back our our, our national right and our heritage and shit. And like white liberals are like sweating profusely because they can't you know you know what I mean like they don't yeah 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 it's <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. It's also like very like dangerous i guess that that their ideology is that weak that even like blitler like black hitler shit w would be difficult for them to criticize yeah know. yeah it reminds me a little bit of uh i shouldn't bring that up actually but there was the, there was a because i remember there was a black hitler a long time ago like on like or, or a colloquial black hitler like on youtube like it was like a nickname for this for the i can't remember the person's name they're fucking crazy were they a black hebrew israelite I don't know. I, I I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody said Gazi co codes codes. Gazi co <laughs> Oh, I I almost had an interview with him once. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, you had an interview with him? Uh, I I almost did. I turned it down because he's a huge attention seeker with the Black Hammer cult. Um, he I think he got arrested recently because somebody died at his cult manor. Um, oh my god. Under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What a. He's a wacky a guy. <laughs> He's, it's a, it's a, yeah, what a, what a feller. Yeah, what a, oh, what a, what a he's lad. A wacky, he's a wacky guy, let me tell you. It's that all, it's like, it's like trauma shit. I don't know. People, people get into that kind of, people get into that kind of stuff out of fear mostly. Like, it's the same with the real Nazis. Like, go to any real life Nazi today, like some white guy or whatever. They're not doing all right. You know, they're pissing. Yeah, it's all, and, it's all fear. Yeah. It's, and, and. In the case of black people, right? Like, at least the fear is rooted in something for real, you know? With white people, like, oh, the Jews are going to destroy... No, they're not. Shut the fuck up. With black people, like, you take a read on history, the idea they might be afraid of some kind of, like, national or, or like, ethnic purge or whatever, I don't think it's going to happen. I get the fear, but it's like a trauma thing, you know? Like, like they run to that when they lose faith in integration i think like like they lose faith in the idea that white and black people can ever live together so they yeah. run to that as like a well so we have to defend ourselves we have to take that final step you know it's just such a conf it's so difficult for me to inhabit that headspace though uh -huh. like i feel like i feel like i meet a lot of people and i can generally speaking i, I can understand on, on a fundamental level like what it is like to think from their perspective because i can i can draw a line of reasoning that while i wouldn't agree with i can at least i can at least manufacture a reasonable through line from point a to point b you know but i i just i i, I can't uh, with with this stuff like the whole kanye thing like i just i just don't understand how well, this happens kanye, he's fucking insane that's that's so far off he's, oh yeah he's he's just he's unmedicated and, and losing his mind um, but I mean the people who, because there are people who support him, you know, like on, I think Ben Shapiro, like Ben Shapiro tweeted something about like trying to distance himself from him. And like, there are a bunch of people being like, no, I agree. No, he's, t he's speaking truth to power. And it's like, Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, we're <laughs> we're living. We're we are certainly not living in great times. Uh, w w when it comes to feeling like people have a handle on their sanity, you know. Um, th the idea that the you know the idea that that's something we should take for granted has pretty much been well dispelled at this point. The most sympathetic version of this whole, like, Black Hebrew Israelite Kanye shit that I can think of is, um, back in the early 20th century, uh, the big split in terms of, like, um, radical black activism, you know, like, during the Jim Crow era and shit, it was basically like, okay, is it gonna work out here or do we go back to Africa and, like, make it work there? Because white people fucking hate us, you know? Like, what is right. like, is there even a shot? And it was, like, a huge argument. And the, basically, like, the leader of the We Should Go Back people was Marcus Garvey. Um, he was a pan-Africanist and a fascist. Um, and he wanted all black people to return to Africa to form like a united continent that could like compete with, with white colonialism. And he worked with the Ku Klux Klan and like white citizen council groups because they also didn't want black people in America. So he thought like, he, he like, they, they all wanted to like share in the messaging of like, we're not meant to go together, you know? And that, that's the closest, like, analogy that I can draw, I guess, from history for what we're seeing right now, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, that makes, at least there's something there, but I, I don't know. I still... No, I'm, I'm not saying I, I'm sympathetic. No, I'm just, I, I, no. I, know, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I love that you have to be so careful. It, it's uh, crazy. It's it's insane. And they're, they're all fucking Nazis, too. I feel really bad for Jewish people because that, that anti-Semitism shit came back like fucking... Oh my god, like very loud, very public. Yeah, it did kind of This is uh this goes back to our conversation about uh, you know, uh franchises that can't die. Yeah. You know? the, the the greatest <laughs> franchise of them all. Yeah, uh, anti-semitism. <laughs> yes, it's holy <laughs> they've been do, two, 4000 years and counting, man. Oh, I I'm so tired of this series. Oh man, rehashing uh, the same plots over and over again. God damn. Oh, they control the world. Ah, oh, dude, you already built the Death Star. They already did this. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's... Fuck, I just died again. This bridge is so hard. Oh my god. It's a, it's a difficult bridge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh... All right, well. Uh, oh yeah, I, I gotta... kept you for so long. I I, I really yeah, appreciate I, I, you I hopping didn't... on. Yeah, I didn't realize how uh, how long it had been, to be honest. I got lost. Uh, but, uh, no, thanks for having me on. I hope you, uh, hope you get past this bridge. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> I did advertise it as the Halo trilogy for the, for the 24 hour stream. It's been a delight to talk to you, man. Yeah, you, uh, same to you. Uh, one thing I would recommend going forward, not necessarily through this, because this is admittedly one of my, uh, lesser, uh, revisited titles. Um, but when you get to Halo 2, don't feel compelled. You, you don't have to play it on heroic. The difficulty really? in that game is real. The difficulty in that game is really fucked. Uh, you could if you want, but it's you know you, you do what you want. Chat would not let me have it. I'll I'll keep that. I, I know I I need that that appraisal. Um, because now, if if I do take that that final lurch, you know, I'll I'll feel somewhat justified in doing so. Yeah, play heroic if you want. You feel like if if you feel like it's fucked, you can switch it. But like, I th I th personally think that game is like that's one of my favorite games ever, and I think it's honestly most fun on normal because it just kind of gives you the freedom to fuck around and do all the ridiculous shit that uh, that I love the games for. And not but, hide behind a wall, like, and, and, and peek out every time yeah, the shield yeah. comes. Yeah, the, Legend, the infinite yeah. run around. I mean, I mean, Charlie, uh, Moist Critical had that whole challenge about, like, beating Halo 2 on Legendary with all the difficulty modifiers on, and it took, it took a lot, it took thousands of people, like, three weeks to do it, so it's... <laughs> oh, I it's, remember that, yeah. Fucking hard game, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not easy, but, uh, appreciate the invite, and, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be tuning on. Oh, uh, literally any time, man. And I hope yeah. you have uh, a wonderful day. Pleasure to speak to you again. You too, man. Take care. T All right. Take care. Um, I I do I do like how um. This is a um. I assume just a product of living in L.A., but a solid chunk of the conversation remains dedicated to like, urban planning and shit. You know, like the, it's the natural orbit. Okay, we are done dying over and over again on this bridge. We are going to methodically move forward. 
We've got lots of grenades. We've got lots of cover. We're going to take out the guys on the far side so they can't shoot at us when we're hiding. Like that. We're going to be real smart about it. It's like that, okay? And only when we can. There we go. Cool, Bainbridge born. Is that? Where the fuck is the... Where? Oh, there you are. Oh my god. Okay. Ow? Yeah, Gloara, I, I know the spamming pistol is good. I'm just not very good at quickly tapping the trigger. I never have been. Like this? I, I can't click that fast. Oh, guys! Speaking of me being bad at video games, um, do you guys want to hear something cool about my playthrough with uh, Doom? Um, I'm replaying Doom, like the original, original Doom, and this time I'm doing it on Pistol Start, No Saves, Ultra Nightmare, or sorry, Ultra Violence, uh, Fast Monsters. So, Fast Monsters means the enemies move way the fuck faster, and, um, and they shoot way faster. Like, a lot faster. Like, it's, 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 it's almost unfair how much faster they are. Um, and I've so far made it about halfway into the second chapter. I'm actually really proud of myself, because this is quite a th gaming challenge. That's, I feel like I'm putting work in here. That's true, Gangstar. Yeah, I feel like I'm really gaming. Shouldn't there be more plasma pistols back here? We're playing on heroic difficulty. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Do guns despawn? Oh, shit. I thought I'd have more ammo to work with. Hmm... Okay, we gotta clear the other side of the bridge. Wow! Hey, stop! Ow. Find fire to actual gun trigger, point your loaded gun at the screen. No, we're fine. Oh, I get it. Wait, hold on. Suck. Fucking. The difficulty you're describing is fast UV, which is a demo category. Check out Ancient Islands. I, I checked it out, Bobinska, but I haven't been able to play it yet. I've been doing my own thing. It's been a lot of fun, though. Um, the, um, the fast UV. Are we gonna make it? Oh my god, guys! Holy- guys! That actually wasn't that hard once I took a second to calm down and actually, like, think it out. Whoa! Oh shit, that's right. The invisible one. I always believed in you. Thanks, I did too. Now that you aren't busy on call. Well, it is always harder to play while talking to someone, but I don't regret it at all. I like uh, Chris a lot. Thank you everyone who's donated thus far. It really does mean a lot. Oh yeah, true, Bablado, I remember. I have a feeling we're going to get a big heap of donations when I beat Halo 1. After all the suffering... We're, we've got to be at least halfway through it at this point, right? Otherwise, we are... We are never making it to Halo 3. Almost half? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we gotta play better. Wash is bad at Halo. Okay, I think... 
We gotta move faster. It's time to move faster, lads. What? Have you tried not sucking? Not sucking? You think that would work? Experienced player would be nearly done by now. Okay, okay, okay. Hold your horses. Look, speedrun strat. Ow. This is not a speedrun strat. Speedrun. Make it easier. No, we're doing fine. Checkpoint. Speed run. Speed, 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 run. Speed, 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 run. Speed, 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 run. Uh, that took a while to blow up. Speed, 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 run. Speed, run. Run, 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 That wasn't hit. I feel like I'm low grav whenever I jump. Is the, are we meant to be on like a low grav planet? Oh! Bazinga. Not a planet? Okay, you know. Astral body. Hey, stop. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, we're gonna... No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, God. Cover. Hide. Whoa. Hola, thank you so much for the incredibly kind $50 donation. Damn! Okay, we got this. Have you tried meleeing more? I'll try. Dun, 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 dun. Beep, 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 run! Oh, okay. That's not good. You might want to save all your rockets for the end of the bridge. Nope! That's not a speedrun tactic. This one is. Speed, beep, beep, run! Gotcha! The reloads in this game are very slow. That's another thing I'm noticing. Whoa! Big boys over there. Okay. Hey, oh! Whoa, whoa! Pathologic music! Why are you going that way? Why it's this way, dumbass? We're doing it. Guys, we're speed running. Speed speed run. Speed speed run. Oh. Run, 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 run. Speed, run, run, run. heal, heal. Yes. <gasps> crouch, crouch in, crouch in, go. No, not a speed run tactic. Speed run. <laughs> Whoa. Checkpoint. Oh boy. Speed run. Speed run. You can't get the sword, not in Halo 1. Checkpoint. Wait, am I unironically suddenly playing better? What's happening? Wait, why? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I think... I think being told... 
uh, that I, I'm halfway through the game activated the gamer mode. Oh, uh, no, wait, we're bad again. Oh, wait, I thought I saw this closed. Hey, come on. Come along. Ow. Or one pistol shot. There's a pistol in that room? I want it! Give me the pistol, man. Give me the one shot. Uh, hello. Oh, wait. Speedrun tactic! Hey, chill. Chill. It's fine. It's fine. Just hold on. Get close again. Speedrun tactic! More rockets? More speed running? My favorite! Where is the... There it is. Okay. We're next. We're next. Speed run, speed run, speed run tactic. Christian Walker going off with his dad. Ooh, juicy. I'll take a look at that soon. So this is the level called the library, right? Or no? I saw somebody in chat say that. I could misread. Stop. Ah. No? Okay, the library's in the future. If I had a super weapon... Banshee! No, I wanted that! Graphics? Oh boy. We're fucking dead. We're getting gunned down. Oh, gotta heal. Okay, the graphics upgrade isn't that bad here. Hmm. Can I get there? Let me in. Don't, don't do it. Don't get in. I want in. I want in. Don't. I want it. It's mine. I no 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 no. Fuck. I got a snipe. Let me distract him. No. Analyzing. Speed run. That's not a speed run tactic. Vosh, maybe aim and hit things instead of beelining at them. I have no idea what you mean. Get it! Oh, wow. Wait, I... Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Analyzing. No! There's no way to hit him without knocking that off. Analyzing. Where's the speed boost? Yes! Now I die instantly, right? Because my health is low. Where am I going? Where do I go? Giant tower? All right. Top. All the way at the top. The bottom. Point.
Boink. Go team. Speed running. Speed running. Speed running. Hey, stay away from me. Fuck. That's safe. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Analyzing. We can do this. Analyzing. This must be the control room. The to the control center is Yes! And we have full health! Nice! Okay. We take Okay. Okay, but this time. Not sure how he one shot me there, but you know. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Oh, I have a rocket. Nice. Okay, I get it. I've got a bomb. With the alt fire. Beep, beep. I should just, like, back out of here. After I open this up, I should just get back in the Banshee, right? And pull back? Yeah, wait, I want to trigger the checkpoint. Hold on. Is there, like, a spot here where I can walk and trigger the checkpoint, just in case? No, I don't think so. Better do it then. All right, now let's try. This thing kind of, like, naturally sinks, unless you're actively flying up. Gravity? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, like, automatically hover. Oh my god, this is actually really tough to control here. Okay. New strat. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Oh boy. Hey, can this thing one-hit the vehicle? I have an answer to my question now. Oh! Nice! Didn't even notice that! Beep beep. Oh, this thing is about to blow up. We're gonna have to use another speedrunning strat that I'm fond of. Oh, I didn't have both rockets in. Damn it. Okay, we can do this. Okay, wait. New strat. We dump the rockets at the beginning, then run into the Banshee and clean up. Because this dude's really hard to kill. The gold elite. I think? Is that it? That was it! Nice! Good job, team. What's the biggest dono so far? Oh, wait, he's still there. Come on. Um, I think we got one for a thousand earlier. But because the donos are to act blue, I can't really keep individual track of them. Nice, that's it. There we go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Speed running! You can't pick up the sword in Halo 1. Speed running! Oh. Okay, this time for sure. That guy's tough. Did I get him that time?
Appreciate that, cat. But yeah, the donos are through Act Blue, which is why they're not popping up on the um, the regular donation alert thing. Oh, get out! Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, we're fine. Speed running. Speed running. Speed. Speed running. Ah, nice. Speed running. I'm gonna repeat that like a fucking Pokemon. Okay. Get back in the Banshee. The Banshee is gone, my friend. Scanning. Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. No, I left a Let's lot of them alive. To Halo's control center. Halo? Halo? John Halo? Guys, nearly at 12 and a half K. Keep it up. Oh, cutscene. This is it. Halo's control center. Oh my god. Halfway through. Oh man, we're gonna have to kick it up. Thank you very much, Cat. I appreciate that. And the people at PV22 do as well. That terminal, try there. Every donor is a hero. You all right? Never been better. She looks we very weird here. The wealth of information, the knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So, what sort of so. is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This is so early this 2000. This isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. No, I cannot switch during cutscenes. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. It's so cheesy. I love something. it. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The captain. We've got to stop oh, the yeah, captain. Oh, yeah, Cap, for sure. Jeez. Really ties me out. What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. Pig news. 